Monday night. What's going on, Pinball Land? Welcome to Studio C as we stream Monday Night Pinball tonight. To my right, Ryan White, Vice President of Sales at Chicago Gaming Company. And to his right, Mr. Steve Beatty. We've got a special treat for you tonight as we have the first opportunity to stream what some are saying is the, the holy grail of remakes. And that is the Medieval Madness Royal Edition. Yeah, sure we got a... We kind of did a little extra on this one. A little bit. It's, yeah, it's, it's a starry a night. It's, it's pretty impressive. So what we're going to do tonight, guys, is we're going to break into this machine a little bit and, uh, and obviously play the game. We are going to have Ryan here that will be able to answer any questions that you may have involving the game. If you want to learn how to order a game, you can absolutely do so. You can call Zach at Flippin' Out Pinball, 847-778-4876. And get on the uh, list today. Steve, how are you tonight, though? I'm great, man. It's good to have you? this guy back it's for, great for two times here. Huh? Hey, I told you I'd be back. You we did had a good, good time. You did. Always a good time with Ryan. Always a good time Thanks with for Ryan. coming in, man. But now we're in Studio C. Studio C. It's now a little different. It's, it's still a little bit under construction. Now, last time you were here, you were in uh, our original studio. So it's a little different dynamic up here. That's okay. It's a nice dynamic. I like it, man. Thank nice. you. It's it's even better now that you're here, man. Thank right. you. Well, we got warm water, warm white <laughs> lights here. We're right. good. Well, we don't have warm white lights. That's <laughs> that's a point of contention uh, with Mr. BD. I, I want to say thank you, everybody else, for uh, for coming in. I saw uh, Zach uh, Zachary, who's our Dwight Sullivan. Uh, thanks for subscribing with your Dwight. Twitch Prime account. It's oh, pretty yeah. awesome. Appreciate it, man. Seeing everybody in chat here tonight. Uh, I see Lucas in chat. I see uh, Mr. Franchi. I see Brian in chat. Uh, Falgren. Yeah, yeah. uh, everybody's here and ready to rock and roll. Zach is here from Flipping Out Pinball. Ready to go. Uh, good times, guys. So before we get going tonight, did you want to just briefly kind of let everybody know exactly what it is that we're... Thank you for the follow, Randall99. You exactly what it is that we're streaming tonight because we have the Medieval Madness remakes that we've seen come out uh, years ago, and then there was a smaller run of Medieval Madness remakes. But this is kind of special within its own right. Well, what we did is you, we started with the original Medieval Madness remake, the LE thousand games sold out within minutes. Right. Okay. Well, then we did another thousand standard edition Medieval yep. Madness. That was a few years ago. Well, we looked at Medieval Madness compared to Attack from Mars and Monster Bash, and it looked a little dated. So we decided to update it to today's standards of what we're producing out there and what we can do with the pinball machine. Yeah. Not leaving behind our original owners, because the key behind it was selling the RGB lighting, was selling the kits, was selling the extra large display that everyone's been asking us for years. Sure. But we also knew that some people would want everything pre-built from the factory. Right, yep. right. So that's when we came up with the idea of part of this Medieval Madness run, which is 500 pieces. Yep. We're going to do it yep. all together, do the best we could ever do with Medieval Madness. And that's where we came up with the Royal Edition. And you're going to see uh, that Royal Edition as you see it on your screen right now. I'm going to reposition that camera slightly. It looks like we're a little bit to the uh, left. But beautiful game. Uh, You've got some pretty special uh, trim on there. You've got that widescreen display. You've got one of the most unbelievable toppers that I've seen in topper. a long time. I, in fact, uh, Chris Franchi, who's in chat, had a little bit to do with some of the artwork on that topper. Yeah, right? he did the he did the artwork for the back panel on this one, and right. it is beautiful. It is beautiful. Very nice. It's just it's a beautiful game. Uh, are there still games available at this Royal Edition, or at this point, are customers struggling to try to find like the middle uh, tier? I would say right now, if you want one, the best thing you can do is find a dealer. Okay. You know, their dealers might have some left. And that would this be Zach at Flipping Out Pinball, 847-778-4876. I don't know, Zach, do you have any of these left? Can, can we order these? Because to your point, what you were saying is you didn't want to leave these guys that, that had already gone all in on their prior LEs in the, in, the, in the dust, so to speak. But they have the opportunity to upgrade these machines at the same cost, if not a little less, than those that are going in new with the Royal Edition. So basically, if you own a Medieval Madness or yeah. you own a Medieval Madness remake LE, right. okay, you can buy the kits to do the topper. You can buy the kits to do the extra large display panel. You can buy the kits to do the RGB. Install it yourself. Yeah. Have a dealer. Yeah. Have a technician do it. And you can build your own Royal Edition, it's basically. Pretty awesome. And it's just about the same cost. It's, a, it's impressive. That's so awesome, man. You, did, you didn't get penalized for going in early. No. And that was the whole point of it is we wanted to do something different in pinball. Right. And that was if you weren't early... 
you still get the benefit of everything we're doing. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Uh, tonight, for streaming purposes, these uh, this game is being streamed and illuminated by Pin Stadium Extreme Kit, the 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 professional streamers streaming kit. Uh, the lights are mounted outside of the glass, giving a little illumination to the play field and to the player cam. Uh, and then also, we are being sponsored tonight by PinQuest and PinQuest.com. We have some PinQuests of the week Ooh. that we're going to go over real quick before we get started. Okay. This is an all or nothing challenge tonight, gentlemen. This is how it works. All or nothing. Each of us at some point tonight have to put up a 20 million point score. That's Doesn't 21 have to, million. 21 million point score. Does not have to be at the same game. We don't have to be playing at the same time. But if each one of us attain a 21 million point score, uh, the donation of 2,500 bits will come in from PinQuest and PinQuest.com. So that's good. Very good. Um, let's start a three-player game. Let's do it. And then let's just uh, get going with chat. We'll just answer some questions. What's up, jobbers here, uh, Christopher? And uh, we'll just see where the, where the night takes us tonight. That you can be able like to stick plan. around for a little bit for after hours, maybe a little phone-in segment, call-ins. Of course. Ins. All right. Perfect. I want to talk to everyone here. Outstanding. Sweet. Let's just go in the order in which we're sitting. Uh, that always helps. And then uh, we'll knock this out of the park, so to speak. Again, thanks, everybody, for joining us on Monday Night Pinball. And, Ryan, thanks for coming in. And for the second time, you've double-dipped. One of the few guests yeah, that we've right. had back. I'm starting to like the repeat performances by some of these guys. And I'm going to do a quick camera adjustment, if you don't mind. You right. got this, chat. Yeah, yeah I think we it. got this. You know, plus we had to bring the game out here. So everybody got to play. Wanted everybody to see this. Thank you, Zach, for flipping out. I want to thank Steve and Ken for coming out and having us tonight. Not used to seeing Ken next door. All right, Steve All is right. back. We got player two up. Player two, you're player two, Ryan. Let's uh, we'll just we'll go down the, the and line. Wow, what an amazing performance! Oh, I know. Ken, that Ken road caught me off guard over there. I was like, what, what's he doing over there? Twenty-one million points is uh, twenty. <laughs> look, look a little bleak there tonight. What a hundred and twenty thou. Right, hundred. It's, it's got a twelve in whatever front of it. Oh, <laughs> uh, so what is the expected delivery time frame for the Royals? That's a great question for uh, flipping out pinball to, to kind of address, I believe. Um, or we can ask Ryan when he comes back. Yep, yep, yep. MTZ Arcade 123. What's up, man? How are you? Welcome back into the stream. What's going on? What's going on? So I was uh, a little shocked to know that we were going to be streaming Medieval Madness tonight. And, and not only that we were going to be streaming Medieval Madness, uh, but the, hey, we got some bits. The Joe bit. Fox is Joe here. Fox. Thousand What's bits. up, man? What's up, Joe? Woo! Thank you so much. Hey, Joe. Really appreciate it. But yeah, uh, then we get always, the, always good. We get Ryan here. here with the Royal. With the Royal. With the Royal. Now, this is the thing. One of the most impressive things about the Royal, as I look at the topper right now, is the topper. The topper, unfortunately, the way that we have the camera set up, I it's know, not really guys. conducive for us to show the topper. We were so, trying to figure out a way, and it just wasn't conducive, like Ken said. Just, what I think we'll do, though, yep. is maybe as we get closer to the 8 o'clock hour, I'm just going to take that player cam. I'm going to turn it around because nobody needs to see us playing pinball. And then we'll just kind of watch the topper in all of its glory interact with the game. I mean, does that make sense? I think it's great. I Let's think do we'll, it. we'll do that. Do it right now. Done. Good times. <laughs> Wookie Jeep. I've never played okay. Medieval Madness. Hope to get it uh, at a show soon. Yeah, Medieval Madness is a great game. You know, I don't have a, I don't have a, lot, of, a lot of time on Medieval Madness. So. Um, okay. It's going to do a little rule thing on, you know, Pinball Arcade last night. And obviously, it's not helping. <laughs> well, this is the first plunge of this game that I've taken tonight. We set it all up, yeah, and then yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Ryan did some Ryan hit some, some quality assurance testing. Yep. Uh, what's the time frame as far as these Royals uh, manufacturing-wise, getting to distributors, and then delivery to consumers? All right. As far as MMR goes, we plan on shipping starting in December. December, on okay. The standards and the on the classics and the special editions. Okay. So, so the classics who, and specials. Right. So December. for people who didn't go all in. Hey now. All right. I, we'll you see get, after you tonight. Get your game. You Zach, get your we game. might be uh we might be uh, flip flapping here. We'll see, man. So <laughs> but we plan on shipping the Royals coming up the first week of January. Okay. That's when our projected start date is. So, so not much of a wait. I mean no, a, a they're, month they're getting ready a to month extra to, to, to about get four your, weeks, five weeks extra. Sure, yeah. Just as we get anything left in. Right on, man. So. I'll tell you what. I'm pretty pumped for it. But so. if you, I'm on the list for one. So. Right. But that means I was in. It only means if you have good games, though, right? 
If not, Steve Spot's available I, I for don't know. sale. Uh, um, oh, I think the I combined think score of 21 million might not have been a bad yeah, I pin think question. Or Wait a minute, what what's going to hurt you here? guys? <laughs> it's, have you ever <laughs> seen the score of like. Have you ever been on the stream here, Ryan? <laughs> have you seen our playing? Oh, unbelievable. Hey, Pirate Cat Red Eye. Yeah, right. so, so he ordered that Royal, and he's looking forward to it. Joker 2 Wild. When are the kits going to be ready? Kits should be shipping about the middle of January. We should have everything ready for you guys. And kits All can be ordered right now. Everything. Right? We haven't opened no. up kit orders yet okay. as we're trying to finalize a few things. Jabber wants to know, have any of you guys playing? Have we ever played pinball before? Yeah, I actually played a couple weeks ago at Pinball Expo. Um, very fun game. I'm looking forward to see how it all pans out here in Studio C. Thank you, Jobber. Actually, I saw you had some uh, broken stuff on Facebook today that you were a little upset about. Sorry to see that. Uh, so as Flipping Out Pinball and Ryan had said, uh, kits will be shipping in January. Right. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, my gosh. How's it going there, buddy? Well, at least he scored better this time. So uh, you sold out on your royal allocation, asks Devil Dog. So those royals, man, it's just like... Oh, BD's eligible. For yeah, if, if oh. you were not there, but you. It's, but that's the other thing is you can upgrade. You're not going to have that royal serial number, so to speak, which would make it the rarest of all the medieval madnesses. Sure, 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 sure. But you'll still have an upgraded game minus the powder coating, which you could do aftermarket. You could do. Aftermarket. I mean, you could really replicate a royal without having the royal. It's not going to have that serial royal number. serial number, right? You know, right. So if you're a serial number guy. I get it. You want to get in there. You want to get something that uh, only 350 people have. Yeah. I don't see this one. Uh, but if you're me, <laughs> it's like, I'm going or, in or on me. Like, <laughs> right. I'm going in on that, that special edition, and I'm blinging it out, and I'm, and I'm you know, whatever I need to do. Yeah. I'm going to find the back alley, uh, you know. Exactly. Trim guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. And that's the kind of the cool thing, and too. Not, so. not back alley, back alley. Like, like somebody out of an alley. Right. No, I got you. <laughs> but even a back alley trim wouldn't be, wouldn't back be horrible, trim right? would be great. Good times as I All try right. to try to double that hundred eighty eight thousand oh. points. <laughs> slow start, slow start. All good. And yes, Zen. All all toppers are available as kits. Everything is considered a kit for this one, and they're available to all dealers. Besides the trim, can you you can't get the trim as a kit, can you? No. Okay. That's going to be that's limited to limited, royal. There's going to be a limited amount of trim available through Planetary Pinball Supply. Oh, okay. So PPS will have some of the trim available. Interesting. Along with the black mirror blades, we're going to be putting in this. Cool, cool. Good to know. I did not know that was uh, an option. And to answer pirate. Captain Red Eye, there, the pirate. The pirate. The pirate. Oh, yes, we have not announced how many royals will be made. So, it is a limited sub segment of these 500 games. Um, we're not going to announce how many are finally finished and made. So, um, <coughs> so yes. And you can meet Zach at any back alley. Exactly. He'll be more than happy to meet up with you. Feels like it's nice. playing a little steep today. It is playing steep. Is it, is it just me? You know what? Just you. We did the, right. the leveling yeah. left to right, but not uh, front to back. Right. It's just Well, we you. have it set at uh, 8.9 degrees, so that's that's pretty. Okay. I have no <laughs> idea what it said. I think it's just you. It's yeah. Just, yeah. You need more beer. Okay, so this is true. So a couple things. I'm finding my shots because those are the first two balls I put on this pin. Uh, since it got here at Studio C, and my first three sips of, uh, I'm drinking a little Anti-Hero by Revolution Brewing tonight. So yeah, I think you're right, Ryan. Yeah, and you see more beer, more yeah, play, you'll you, do better. I, you know, it doesn't it doesn't have to be intoxicating as far as the uh, the beer consumption goes, but it absolutely gets my timing down. I'm not usually used to playing without having a couple beers. Well, hey. So I'm a little bit late or a little bit early, usually depending on that. Anyhow, I want to thank everybody for coming in the chat again. We are streaming the Medieval Madness uh, Royal Edition. On loan, brought to you tonight from Ryan White, who's the vice president vice president of sales at Chicago Game Company. Uh, unloaded this bad boy right out of the uh, truck in the Studio C. We set it up, and it's it's a beautiful pinball machine. It really, really is. And I've always been fond of Medieval Madness as a pinball machine as a whole. Uh, this kind of brings it to another level. And I can't wait to turn that player camera around a little bit later so everybody can see the lighting effects on that topper because it's it really is pretty ridiculous. I'll say, yeah, I was hoping I, mean, I hope you're gonna announce that. Stay tuned, guys. Oh my goodness. We're gonna turn the camera around so yes. you don't have to look at us play. You know, we, we, we should maybe do that faces. sooner than later, man. <laughs> it's like 
You it's know, like that and, is and pretty put the awesome. Topper, and let's put the topper cam on. We'll call it the topper cam. Topper tonight. cam. Absolutely. You know. Absolutely. So you can't see Steve get all frustrated as he's playing. Yeah. Nobody wants to see my facial expressions as I can't you know, make and, my and shots. Unless the consensus is chat, skip the topper. Yeah. Keep it on us. Yeah. So Lauren Helmet uh, says he loves the bigger screen, too. The nice thing about the wider screen is that, I mean, everything graphically has been redone at a higher resolution. So right. you're not getting the same kind of DMD basic package that you would have on, like, an original uh, well, Medieval Madness even or on even the on remakes, the original remakes. Even on the remakes, when we did the color kit, we, yeah. we did the dots the same HD dots. Right. But now when you expand it out into that extra large display, yeah. it's just amazing. It, it is amazing. It is you know, amazing. It brings a whole new depth. This has the upgraded sound system in it, um, similar to what we use in Attack and Monster, too. So I mean, everything's real clear. The call-outs are real clear. Yeah. The music's real clear. It's pretty awesome. You know, it's got the upgraded sub in it. Shaker I motor. always like a good sub. Because I've always been one that I always, or I prefer at least to put like a, a Polk Audio external subwoofer, and I'll link usually two machines to an external sub. Uh, this game's packing some punch without any type of an external sub whatsoever and chris we owe part of this to you for the topper so once again thank you my friend all right so chris franchi i guess will be selling toppers out of the back of his trunk out there in uh, michigan need a <laughs> topper <laughs> nice uh bill webb hey bill webb's in the house is it my phone or or is it offline no oh, i hope i hope it's your phone bill if it's not your tv it's your phone buddy Glad that you're here in chat. I would do a little reset. Yeah, buddy. As far as I know, we haven't had any issues. What up, Bill? Bill Webb's here. It's been a while, man. Anyhow. It's fine here over uh -huh. flipping out. Uh -huh. Christopher uh, is talking to Christopher. 55,000 uh, plays on an AFM special edition. Wow. That's wild. All right. RGB lighting. Nice trim package. And on the trim package, that coin door is powder coated. And I'm always a big supporter of whenever I've powder coated a game, I've always powder coated that coin Complete door. Complete it, you know? Yeah. Uh, anything that is is part of that metal sure. is going to have to get the powder coated. Yeah, coat. yeah, yeah. So it's kind of nice. Good job, man. Oh. See if I can break a million just, here. Just, just barely skating by there, Ryan. Getting that dub. All right, 21 mil. Well, I had to, had to get you there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, all, that's all you had to go for. Well, I don't know. We'll see what Kenny can do here. But. You know, Kenny will come up with hey, a ball three. Nice job, you know? nice hey, job. That's okay. I feel like you got a lot of time on this game. So, <laughs> hey, you know, now. I really haven't got to play that much. No, I know. Yeah, no, no. We were talking about powder coating. I think that's what you guys were talking about a second yeah, ago. Yeah, so... What all on this is powder coated? So are pretty lights, much any piece of any piece of metal we could find, we powder coated with that same sparkle. With that black diamond powder oh we my, use, it's it's sharp, man. We we did the lower arch, the apron. Yep. We did yep, yep. the speaker panel, the hinges. Speaker panel, I did notice all the the lockdown bar, the side rails, the legs, coin door, and then we did the coin door on top of it too. Yep. And that all comes with the royal edition. So, yeah, everything everything you could get that's decorated is there. You go, you know. So and yes, we're doing black factory mirror blades. Something different. Yeah, it looks great, man. I'll tell so, you what. No, it looks really nice. Uh, the powder coating with that flake Ooh. in there. That is it like a diamond flake? Like, yeah, it's like you, a diamond flake almost. You can't really appreciate it. I think in the pictures because I, I tried to take some pictures all. today. Not at no, all. It's. And it just doesn't look right. Uh, but up close and personal, it's it's actually, it's really really nice. So are the coin door? <laughs> yes, coin, coin doors, doors powder coated. are powder coated. In yes, these. yes, it is. And the royals, the powder coat is going to the coin door. So yep, it's Boom. crazy. Hinges are powder coated. All right, I'm gonna start another game. Hinges, here. yes. Hinges are powder coated. Oh. Yeah, we'll start another game. Yes. Hey, after this game, let's get off a of player cam. Let's go to topper cam. We're gonna switch it around. Topper cam. Yeah, does that sound good? Yeah, that's a new phrase. We'll, we'll, we'll go coin to topper it. cam. Okay. Nobody needs to see us draining. <laughs> it's, it's just not worth it. Anyhow, let's get caught up in chat. Uh, I heard uh, this is where one comes to flip out. What's Welcome to uh, welcome to the stream, Skip Natty. Hope everything's going good with you guys. Uh, Wolfman, you guys are powder coating your noses. I would powder coat my nose if it was part of a pinball machine. I can't wait for the arcade and pinball. Uh, yeah, there you go. 
Zentron one is followed. Thanks for the follow, Zentron. Really appreciate it. And I hate to say it, but we, we have to patent pen the topper cam. Topper cam? Yeah, we can. Well, topper cam. That I'm sure somebody's to done topper cam. No, nah, that has to belong. I wish to I us. had a graphic for topper cam. That has to belong to us now. Uh, Christopher says uh, patent pending on topper cam. Maybe you can sell shirts, Ryan. Brutal. <laughs> Top, topper can shirts. <laughs> Hashtag topper cam. Hashtag topper cam. Yep, there you go. <laughs> it's pinball related, right? Yeah. So I'm, I'm, again, I'm trying to find my shots, and this one's playing differently than the last one that I played, and it's got to be because of the way sure. that we set this up a little bit. New bits, Joe Fox, and 500 bits. Joe, Joe's making it rain, man. Thanks, Sorry Joe. Sorry, here, man, but duh. very nice, buddy. I really, really, really do appreciate that. Uh, always good to have Joe Fox here. All right, here we go. What's out? Oh, so you're telling me I have a chance? <laughs> I took the, the Steve game on the ball one on. Yeah, two. that was that was no, that was even better. I got that super skill, super skill shad. Oh, that's how you did it, huh? Yeah, the super skill, shad. super skill, and then hit the hit the castle, right? Uh, yeah, took super left. skill, yep. then then hit the castle. Yep, that's just that's all I did. So. All now, right, Zach, Zach you Topping cannot out. do this weekend toppers. Okay, you do everything else. There's not this weekend toppers. <laughs> Oh man, topping out. I like that one too. That's a good one. Topping out on top of cams. Oh, we got Lord Howard hurts. Lord Lord Howard hurts. Please stop hitting my front door with pinballs. Yeah, Joe. We're always happy to have you, man. This is, it's a it's a good time. Hurts is here. So yeah, man. Ken's, Ken's actually up there for a little bit. Yeah, he's, he's doing, doing good. He Ken can play when he, when he wants to play. He's uh -oh. doing good. Uh oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. look uh -oh. out! We're in trouble. That's okay. He'll drop it real fast. We know. Uh, well, you know what? If he gets his twenty-one mil, we're that okay with we that. Only, that means that only means you only and you I and I need to do it. So we'll be good with that. Uh -huh. We'll get there. We'll get there eventually. You know. How late you got till tonight? I mean, we we, we might have to stay till we get twenty one million. Neil from Pinquest didn't say our, our time limit on this. Yeah, uh, I didn't. I didn't see a time limit. No. We better ask the boss. Right. There. What's that? Hey, Kevin, was there a time limit on the twenty one million? No, no. <laughs> so if if you're good with staying until like Thursday, we could probably all get that in. Might be the only way we get to keep uh, Medieval Madness Royal Edition here in Studio C tonight. Is if we uh, purposely don't hit the 21 million points. But uh, we'll see how that well, goes. Steve's going to do it on this ball, we know. So, again, the, the Pink Quest Challenge is tonight where it's all or nothing tonight. Each player must score a minimum of 21 million points at some point this evening. It does not have to be the same game. Very attainable goal. I've Scoring 21 million on Medieval Madness is not by any means difficult to do. No. Um, for whatever reason, uh, during streaming, it's, it's just been different for me since I started streaming. So it's not nervous. I don't know if I'm overthinking things. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's performance anxiety. Well, hey. <laughs> Glad you had that. <laughs> right. I need, need the pinball Cialis uh, form, whatever that might be. Right. You know. Right? I don't know. <laughs> don't worry. It's just a little blue pill. <laughs> Ryan's okay. like, well, hey, it's okay. I'm it's just a little <laughs> right. blue pill. Yeah, don't worry about the performance anxiety over there, Ken. Take the purple one instead. Hey, a little oh, tilt. We the got first tilt of the night. Woo. Hey, boy. was that on the pin quest oh, challenge? Yes. The tilt? The topper almost fell down. Jeez. No, it didn't. That screwed on pretty good. I'm just kidding. Good times. We're set for one tilt. Huh? No, no, uh, no warning tilts. It's just uh, factory default. Factory default. Just uh, you're done. What do you store your topper in? Walk a away. Topper hopper. Ha ha, Mr. Franchi. Topper hopper. What's the current count of the Pinball Market Trends T-shirts that have been sold through Silverball Swag? There's a little side wager that I'm gonna guess if, 50. If 75 of those shirts have been sold in a certain amount of time, Dennis Creasa will host Market Trends segment on this week in pinball. And it's pinball. What's <laughs> going on? <laughs> David L. Dennis is here. Pinball Cialis is at Christopher Franchi artwork. Nicely said. 
You know what? These uh, these flipping out shirts are pretty soft. Yeah, so we have our we have our back. uniforms on tonight. Yeah, we wanna, we're, we're at the job. We're at the office. I like it. We're at the office. We're at the office, man. <laughs> Studio C. It's a Nashville. Yeah, Nashville show. All right, whoever's in Nashville, gotta stop at Hattie B's Hot Chicken. Oh, wee. Uh-oh. Good. Zach, make sure you put that on your list. Good hot chicken, man. A little off topic. All right, but Ken not just really. threw his hands up in, Ooh, in that's, extreme that's, happiness. There's the beady ball right there. Oh, what? But he's I don't know, I don't know what I was looking at. What happened? I was I was just watching the ball drain. A little uh, two as if brothers I was, pinball, is this I was appreciating that. I don't pinball know what pale Beady, what are you drinking tonight, buddy? You're drinking a little two brothers pinball pale ale, juicy hot pale ale, out of uh, Warrenville, Illinois. Where can you buy the flipping out T-shirts? Whoa! Penn Stadium is in the house with ten gift subs. Penn Stadium, thank you, buddy. And as we mentioned earlier, this game is being illuminated by Penn Stadium and Penn Stadium Lights, the Penn Stadium Extreme Kit, the streaming kit for the serious streamer. That's you. I know. I don't know how we have one. I'm not that serious of a streamer, but uh, we do appreciate it. It does n- nice little added illumination on the game, especially for streaming purposes, and a little uh, little soft glow for the player cam, uh, which isn't bad at all. Thanks, Scott. Which I appreciate it, buddy. about to be the topper cam. Topper cam. We're going to switch from player cam to topper cam here after this game. So instead of looking at our ugly mugs, try to uh, get down and dirty on this medieval madness, you're going to be able to watch the topper in real time as it's... Uh, it's pretty awesome, man. It's, it brings a whole new element to this game. It does a little bit. It's really, really impressive. Now, I'm going to have to see how I can actually uh, spin that around without having to recable everything. Because, of course, today's the day that I make everything nice and neat on the rig. Everything's real tight. Well, and then i got to move a camera. But, hey, it's okay. That's okay. We'll um, see. So, hooked on Pinbill. Basically, all, back, kits, Ryan. all kits will start shipping sometime around the middle of January. So... And install time for the RGB? Yeah, if you're a pit crew, if, if pit you're a normal guy. It, well, it depends on how many people you got. But, right, right. Um, overall, we have not timed it yet. We're still working on detailed instructions to get everything right to make it the kit as easy as we can so everybody can install it pretty easy. Yeah. So I imagine there'll be some type of an installation video or something that you'll be able to offer. Right. Yeah. And one of the nice things is, is the GI strands in ours, it's yeah. runoff six strands. And it all goes to the the main board. Okay. So basically, I mean, you just follow the wires. Cool. Very cool. Plug and play. Yeah. No no soldering, no desoldering. No. No uh, unpopulating your play field. No, we hope not. No. Good. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's not, right up my alley. Right. We're gonna hire Ken to to actually come in and see if he can do this. Hey, I'm not a novice, but I'm not an expert, so I, I'd probably be your uh, your typical pinball guy. Oh, he got the extra ball. We're in trouble now. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Ryan, did you say that CGC was only making a total of 500 new medieval madnesses for all of the trims? Because I know 350 is going to be Correct. the royal. We, we haven't announced how many royals we're going to do. Might oh, be 250, okay. might be 350. Okay, my might fault. Be, might be five. Five royals. Yeah. Impressive. And there's one. Seriously, so there's no... there's we, no. We have not announced how many royals we're going to do, but the total run is 500 pieces. Okay. Of so you don't know what portion models. of the 500 right. will be royal. Right. Of all models, 500 pieces. Gotcha. That's it. And when this one's done, it's done for a while. We got some new and exciting things coming up, so that's what we're here to do. We're, yeah, we're now that's the other up. thing. I, I've been hearing a little chatter on uh, keep, some podcasts that there's some other things that are in the uh, works over to, CGC, huh? We're here to keep bringing some new games. I like it. Keep, keep bringing up what we can do the best we can do in pinball. Okay. You know. So, so keep screening our play fields. Let's keep, keep when, putting everything right, together. Right, 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 right. No, I got you. But when you were here last time, you you couldn't really even speak of this because I'm assuming you were still waiting for a license approval for all this to happen, right? I mean, this on this game, yeah. Oh, this game was happening in the background. I just didn't let anyone know what was going on. Okay, gotcha. Well, which would make sense. I mean, right. why would you? Okay, you know. We still have and the expo reveal was nice. Right, we still we still have plenty. We still have Monster Bash. We still have Limited Attack from Mars available right, to our right, dealers. Right, you know, but this run here we wanted to kind of bring out a big surprise for everyone and say, hey, yeah, here you go. Now you guys pulled a little surprise last year at Expo too. It came down to the wire where 
CGC had a bunch of pinball machines. Joe Fox, 300 bits. Come on, buddy. Thank you, man. This guy's all over the place. Pin Stadium and Joe Fox. Thank you, guys. You had it where there was just like that little area designated with the with the blankies over the. Uh, what, we weren't quite sure what it was, and then at the last minute you got approval, and then what did we see? Hey, last, last year at Expo we brought in three or we brought in four games in Black Shrink Wrap. Yeah. And it just happened to be all the medieval madness that everyone was waiting. Yeah. Or all yeah. the monster bash monster everyone bashes. was waiting yeah. for. The we long approval. awaited monster bash. We got approval for that one like 30 minutes before showtime, so we just cut it out. I remember seeing that right awesome. taped off and all that stuff wrapped up, and I was thinking, so if you didn't get the approval, nobody we, saw anything. You just put that yeah. stuff um, I had a backup, back up in the I had truck. a backup set of games. Yeah, just in case. In, in, it's in a secondary room <laughs> yeah, inside that's, Expo. That's amazing. So if we didn't get approval on, on monster... It was literally going to be Attack from Mars Medieval there. That's it. They were already sitting in the back. You weren't quite down to the wire this year as you were. No, year. this one we kind of knew what yeah, was going on. Okay. But details are coming out faster to people now. Yeah. But this one still came down to the wire to get it through. Nothing like nothing like waiting to the last minute to get that approval. Well, hey, you know, we want to do the best yeah. we can. And, you know, an extra seven minutes of work, that's pretty good. Are yeah, you going right? to be at uh, Houston Arcade Expo this month flipping out pinball? Mm. Zachary. Wow. He wishes. I gotta, I gotta chase eight million now. <laughs> what did you I think do? You, I think you got it. What did you do? Well, it accidentally went from the pops to the extra ball that was lit that I drained <laughs> trying to get. Nice. Okay, Chriso. Oh, Thanks so for the twelve bits, buddy. The, the the cheating Thank you, Chris. Bounce. Okay. Yep. Joe Fox, Joe Fox is subscribing. Jeez, it's like Joe Fox is all over the place. Joe Fox is killing it tonight. Thank you, Joe, Joe Fox. Fox. Resubscribe oh. tier one for five months. That's about what you can only be is five months subscribed. We've only been doing this for five months. So I it's, think so, right? Yeah. It's amazing and humbling to me that we have people that have subbed for five consecutive months. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Very, very fun. What are the major the major differences on this? So this being the Royal Edition. The Royal. Medieval Madness. Obviously, you've got the topper. You've got the uh, diamond, uh, black diamond trim. You've got the extra wide DMD with the new... Uh, Animations, yeah, newly redrawn, high def animations, the special. upgraded sound system, um, mirror blades, mirror blades. You've got RGB lighting, RGB lighting. It, it has everything. It's got everything in the kitchen sink. So this is uh, will go down as the most rare of the Medieval Madness releases. No I doubt. believe. Yep. yep it yep, sounds yep. like Joe Fox for president. <laughs> Zach's going to be the campaign manager. Yeah, if you're if you're a collector and, and, and want that serial number attached to that royal edition, yeah, you know, yeah, right. This you, is the one you want. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you are the collector that wants the rarest of the rare, um, the royal edition because of that serial number is going to be the way to go, and, and it'll hold its value more so than the than the other ones from what we've seen. Actually, right. but that being said. If you are, were in on the original Medieval Madness remakes, you still have that opportunity to upgrade to just about everything that the Royal has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And not spend any more money than you would have if you bought the Royal instead of your original Medieval so cool. Madness So cool remake. you guys chose to do that. It is nice. Kind of not leave your original buyers, you know, in the dust. That was the point of it. That, that was a, it was a great decision. You know, we man. want everyone to have the best we can do. Toppers. RGB lighting, extra large display. So the RGB lighting, so you you're, they'd have to go in and, and swap out the bulbs, right? Because it was it was incandescent. The original bulbs on the original Medieval Madness um, remakes. Yes. They were socketed bulbs. So, so they were actually, socketed. Okay. You can actually undo them from the bottom side. Oh, that's even nice. So you're giving them the kit for socketed bulbs. So basically, you're going to switch it out to an RGB light kit. Yeah. Okay. You're going to have to pull the sockets out. Do you need course. to update code for There's that? There's, of course, then? new code. Okay. So, this so but is it's capable of doing all that with the hardware that's in it right. now. Right. So Just it's going to have, a t it's gonna have some different pieces, stuff like that. But overall, you know, the whole point of it is to make it to where everybody can can get this and make it available to them. Sure. No, that's awesome. So if, yeah, if, if anybody's ever shopped a game and, and swapped light bulbs from underneath it's a quarter inch it's quarter inch not driver quarter inch not driver boom 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 easy enough the ken, the ken cam so yes the original m m r l e is oh, yeah, the that's cool, original ken. numbered limited edition we do not do limited edition again the stopper 
cam look okay? That's it, guys. I think the topper cam looks good. Yeah, where you at is, is looking good. Yeah, I think we got a good topper cam now. All right, so. Did I, did I just take one? You're, you're going to see. Uh, all right, I got to head home. Uh, that's my best game of the night. I'll uh, see oh, you guys later. Like oh, no, you got to hit the 21 million. Come 21. on. 21. Yep. We got yeah, topper cam going. Now, the thing with topper cam is that you're going to see my ugly seam on my fake brick that I have not decided if I want to keep in Studio C or not. That's why it's not joined properly. So other than that, party, party. Party parted in the uh, dust. I like it. I like it, man. Yeah, we had, we had the nice Ken cam. Sorry about DMD that, guys. behind it. Um, uh, the but that's okay. See, they can see our, our smiling faces on something else. Right. <laughs> that's that's know, right. They got this camera as we're sitting behind the podium here. That's very, very true. So you know, I feel like it's, you know, we need our news anchor here. Uh, yes, we do. And for those of you that are just joining us now in chat, uh, with us tonight for the second time I, in uh, flipping out pinball streaming history, Ken Cromwell, thank you for the new bits. Tonight. Who? I'm filling in for Bill Webb. Right. So he's my name's the, Ryan the White. I'm Bill the Webb. VP of sales for Chicago Gaming, but I'm just filling I, in for Bill. I knew you looked familiar. Okay. I, now, you filled in with Bill by bringing in like this Medieval Madness Royal Edition. And I, and I want to say real quick, Pirate Cat and Red Eye, thank you for the 2,000 bits, buddy. That's awesome. And Pirate Cat and Red Eye did order the Medieval Madness Royal Edition. Well, congratulations. And, and he has one that's uh, reserved for him. So that's pretty awesome. Congratulations. Yeah. You're going to love it. It's a great game. Awesome. Now you guys are getting to see the topper, which a lot of people didn't get to see at Expo. So that's kind of why we're out here tonight. Talk to Zach. I talked to Ken. Yes. Figure we bring it out here, let the world see this. So we appreciate all the people that are in chat tonight. We appreciate everyone that's here watching. You know, now you get to see Topper Cam. Topper Cam. Now, patent pending. <laughs> the patent pending Topper Cam. It's called Frick. If there's anything that I can do to make the topper cam more pleasant for anybody that's in chat, please please let me know. Hey, what's up, Orby? Hey, looks good Pinball from here. Pinball Nerds Podcast, Orbital Albert's here. Yeah, what up, Albert? Just in time for Topper Talk, brought to you by who can sponsor Topper, the topper cam. Right now, it looks like Pinquest is sponsoring the topper cam. It's, uh, it's very, very interactive, and there's a lot of lighting effects on the topper. Switch it with the scores. Yeah, you know what? If I do that, I've got that the score box in the middle. I have to change everything. So this is I appreciate the advice, and, and it's something if I would have known we were going to be doing the topper, I would have rearranged some things. But yeah, 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 yeah. my template's not conducive for me putting switching those two. So my apologies. Yeah, no, I can't. I can't flip the. I can't do that, Chris. Sorry. If there's anything else I can do for you. Yeah. <laughs> Any other, other than, recommendations? And then switch the, the order of events. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Uh, David L. Dennis met uh, Albert two weeks ago, and he talked about how much uh, we hate certain things. I'm sure that did not happen, <laughs> David Dennis. Some guys, some rabble rousers that, that oh, come in on a week-to-week -week basis. Rabble rousers. I so it was Mondays. Right, the Monday rabble rousers. Mondays. Those Monday folks drinking on their Monday night pinballs. Monday night pinballs. Monday Night Pinball. Uh, this game's our ass. Game on his podcast. Subscribe for five oh, months. Oh, hey. Come on, podcast. says, thanks for streaming some Medieval Madness. The Medieval Madness Royal Edition. The, the Royale Royal. with cheese. Ooh, Ryan. That's Ryan, are you rocking it out or what? I got actually a long time there. Thanks. Thanks, Albert. Oh. Got the edge. Got the edge. 21's feeling really far, but I, once you open the game up, you start to get the big points. Basically, it's a game of multiball. It's a game of multi ball, which hit your shots. I've had one multi ball. Hit your shots. The get the madness is going. Yep, get the madness is going. Got to get the madness going. Got to get the madness going. I mean, we already know you're, you're mad enough. Okay? I'm mad enough. Right, you know. <laughs> I mean, they, they did take you for shots this morning. Remember that? Yeah, okay? uh, you know. Oh, wait, I wasn't supposed we, to let yeah, that out. This was before oh, okay. we, got, we got, went on air. Okay. <laughs> so. Oh, man. All right, now Ken is chasing So the topper us cam. Everyone's and the topper cam's looking pretty good. It's looking good. Yeah, we had a, a couple of requests to, to swap it, but that's a, that's a lot of work to do. Oh, to swap it with the bottom? Yeah. Well, hey, Left it's better than looking at us. Left out tonight. tonight. What's that? I said topper cam's better than looking at us. I agree. I, I'll agree with that, Ryan. I agree the topper cam is a lot more uh, interactive than I am also, so... 
and I have no uh, RGB lighting effects on the toppers. Yeah, exactly. We I have to grow my hair out a little bit different to compete with the topper cam. We can get you an RGB hat or something. I should get an RGB hat or something. You know, an RGB Santa hat? I can have. Uh, I can ask Franchi if he would like draw the background of, of the topper hat, and then I'll just get like an RGB hat. There you go. For my for the top of my head, for my topper. Uh, let's see. Francis says that uh, my cousin called me Albie all the time, high school. What up, Chris? Nice topper, bro. Can you buy the topper if you already have a Medieval Madness? Asks Moobot75, right? And the Medieval Madness remakes. Yes, you can. So on the originals, it's not coded to accept the topper. Correct. So you could buy the topper. You just would have to light it yourself because there would be no way to plug that in to interact with your game. Right. There's no way to power it right now. Right. But you could always externally power it if you wanted to. and A lot more to it than that. Yeah, no, I get it. But, I mean, if you really wanted the topper, I suppose that you could. And I have to give credit here because Chris just said he only did the background. But, you know what? Without the background, the sculpt doesn't do it justice. That's true. That, so, that is true. You did and, a really nice job, and Chris. And the whole thing just flows together. So, Chris... You're part of that team. Thank you again. Nicely done. Nicely done. Hypercoaster 200. Interactive chat, RGB uh, lighting on Ken's hat. Yeah, that would be cool. You could just change the lighting and chat on my head. Right. See, new feature. So if someone ship it to Ken Cromwell, we need an RGB hat for Ken Cromwell, please. Right, which I will be happily pay for because I don't ask for anything free on street. No. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Do you guys, uh, you know who hates uh, toppers? The guy with the low ceilings. Well, no, you know what, though? You can get the shorter leg kit that lowers your machine by eight inches. You could do that. And then, <laughs> then you just put the topper up there. So the topper from the top of the machine, is it is it about a six to eight inch clearance? It looks it's like? about eight inches. Eight inches? Yeah. Total so, should be eight, a little said. more than that. Um, Pinquest is here with 2,500 bits. Thanks, Neil. Thanks for coming in. So we started our Pinquest Challenge of the Week here. Which none of us have been close to getting, which yet, yet, we're still we're still finding this out. So, thanks for uh, getting in and, and partial sponsor of the stream, and we hope to attain the other twenty five hundred bits. Neil, we're we're working at it. Might might be here a little while. So, and we have not set a limit to the number of toppers we're producing. So it is going to be available. Good. So, and just remember one thing with toppers, you know, you can if you know how to do wiring, you can extend them. Oh, sure. Like, so if you wanted to, to rest maybe next to your pinball machine. You know, you, I'm not it, saying you could put a shelf with it or something. You know, that would be cool. Next you could to your pinball machine. Wire it right up to the master bedroom, like on the. Uh, on I the, don't want to know what goes board. on in yours. And you can just have a little topper going. All right. Hey, Zach, future home of cribs. You just heard it. Yeah, toppers in the bedroom. Yes, toppers <laughs> in the bedroom. That's right. <laughs> Topper Forget talk mirrors to on a the whole ceiling. new level of topper talk. Forget mirrors on the ceiling. He's got toppers in the bedroom. Oh, yeah. With my RGB lighting. Right. And my mirror blades, right? Like me. <laughs> oh. There we go. Hey. All right. You said it for me to let the team down. We're the, <laughs> Thanks, Neil. We are, uh, we're not only, we're not always a family friendly uh, stream here, so. Wolf 359 says that goes out. needs to start saving some quarters for this beauty. I agree. And Steve is at 6 million, 6.2 million. We have, the, what's the high score of the night? Like eight? Eight million? Eight. Yeah, nice. Pretty far off for 21. Pin stadiums in the bedroom, says David L. Dennis. Have those firing on the UV glows. Anyhow. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the UV glows are great. Yes. Troy Smith, a couple of Royal Editions, we'll let them know we sent you. Troy's a good dude. Uh, Pinkwest, so Neil's, our, our Pinball Nerds podcast says Pinkwest Pinball. 21 million is a very reasonably high score. I, I couldn't agree more. 21 million is not hard to attain on Medieval Madness. For whatever reason, uh, the first, this is, a, what, our third game? Yes. We have not uh, come going. close to that 21 million mark. Uh, Mubot says, so you can get a topper. It's just not going to be interactive. That sucks. But you know what? But if you really wanted the topper for the original, you could get a topper. And sure. uh, you never know. I bet you Ooh, somebody Ryan, could tie back. a topper into a couple uh, flashers or some inserts, and you could probably get some lighting effects on it. Yeah, so it's just not going to work on the older uh, original games. Not, not All the remakes out of Chicago Gaming Company that are Medieval Madness will be able to facilitate the addition of this topper. 
So, right. There are currently plans. I guess I'll say this: there are currently plans to produce this topper through Planetary Pinball for the original medieval manual. Okay. Wow. Wait, way to hold us through, in suspense. There yeah. will be available through Planetary Pinball. Okay, at at a later date, sometime after January, we are working on on working with PPS to bring this topper to the original medieval band. Very, very. Cool. There you go. So Owners. now, it might so you're not saying be, there's a chance. There is a chance. It might not okay. be interactive totally with the game, yeah, but we are trying to yeah. we are trying to interact the light show to at least bring the topper to life like this one is yeah. currently. It's sure. Awesome. I'll be right back. All so, right, sooner than later. Cool. <laughs> yeah, right. As he steps up to the pinball machine. As he steps up to the plate. Ken's a, Ken's a big baseball and softball. Yeah, that was a, that's news, man. That's you're, you're yeah, breaking, some news news, breaking some news tonight, right? Yeah, that is. Planetary cool. will be offering some of the limited edition parts, the limited parts, such as the Black Diamond Powder. They'll be offering. They, they have stated they wanted the topper for the original, so we are working with the original. To do that. Cool. Very cool you guys did that though. So Alright, so so Neil from Pinquest said, Alright boys, here's the ticket. Destroy two, two castles, castles and get and a multi-ball. Get a multi-ball. <laughs> right. I think I destroyed one castle. Well now you need to wait two. Is this throughout the night? <laughs> no, this is one game, okay. No. Two castles, multi ball. Two castles, you got multi ball. I already yeah, I'm already you got halfway this. there. Right. You got this. You're good. I think twenty one mil is possible. You know. You guys just need to step your game up. So, so what happens to the person who gets it first is going to be the question. How much? You know what? The person who gets it first should almost sit out. Sit out so the next that game? The, so that the other two players have okay. a, a, a more of a chance to get it, you know. So. All right. So so there we go. Okay. So we got yeah. to. First person to hit 21 million has to sit out a game. All right. So the I other two get it. I think it's. All right. So our chances are better at getting okay. the other two. Because we got to work as a team here. Yeah, we're working as a team. Right. PinQuest Team Challenge. Right. You know, it's us against PinQuest. <laughs> it is. You, you us, know, us hey. against Neil. Us against Neil. Since he thinks I was going to be the weak link, I mean, I, I got to step up my oh. game a little bit. Oh, <laughs> Neil's saying, ha, 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 no, that's how you get the 21 million. <laughs> okay. Oh. So it's not just, not just. Destroy two castles and start a multi ball. That's that's how you get the twenty one million. All right. That's, that's what thanks I was just for, thinking too. Thanks like, for clarifying we'll just get there, those, Neil. Get two castles out of the way. <laughs> exactly. And then start a multi ball. Like I'm already there. Yeah. All right. Well just got saucer blocked. <laughs> that's all you've been blocked today? <laughs> yeah. All right. That's good. Been a, been a lot of blocking going on over here at Studio C. They don't call it Studio C for nothing, Ryan. <laughs> Hey, I, I don't know how you came up with Studio C, but that's okay. Yeah, there's a lot of stories behind that, actually. <laughs> yeah, blowing up the castle never gets old. David, you're right, buddy. Double Dog, working on the wife so I can get this one. Still uh, waiting on the CE Wonka. Yes, yes, you are. Pinball obsessed. Uh, instead of physically moving the camera, can't you just swap the wires? Moving the camera for... No, I, no, I can't because I'm running... Listen, guys, I just I can't switch it because I actually I'm running a webcam for the DMD because usually that's not as important as anything else. Everything else is a uh, handy cam. So uh, if you guys are really like want me to mess with it, I suppose I could. I just prefer not to. It's working and it's <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. But you know what? I, I, I'm yeah. going to say this. I think yeah. if you're nice for after hours, yeah. maybe you can do something with them. Yeah, well, you know what? For, how about I can just go full screen at that point, probably. Yeah, you know, hey. Right. So, you Gee, know, I mean, you can you ah, can give the man. topper tour on the topper cam. The topper tour? Is. Yeah, Interesting. See, there you go. All right, let me see what I can do here. So, that, so anyways, that's why I can't just switch the wires, because I've got two different cameras. Three of the uh, Sony Handycams are all going through capture cards, and that one webcam that has the uh, DMD display is separate it's usb direct now typically streams will only need to use three handy cams because you've got the player you've got the dmd yeah. if you choose use one on the dmd and you got the play field but because we have the added um fourth camera yeah, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. it just plays a little bit differently so again my my apologies 
Topper cam is freaking tight. Yeah, cool. Thanks. Thanks, Orbital Albert. It was our player cam. We just turned it around. Hey, Lermods is here. What's up? Rob and Kim. Lermods. Do the trolls have names, Ryan? Hold up. I, th I think... I thought they were both named Ken. <laughs> Ken, Ken, Ken. It's Ken one, Ken two. What's up, Kim? What's up, Rap? Pretty sure that's Kim. I think we talked about this. Do they have names though? Uh, not that I know. No? I really haven't paid attention to that one. Oh man, what a cool game! I was kind of feeling it. Are you, I, are I just, you getting I'm, into I'm, feeling I'm it? I'm not having the ball control that's needed. Sounds like a personal problem. Yeah. Well, it is, but, you know, also tonight. Oh, Ken, welcome back. Uh, hey, that was, well, that was, you were doing good well there. Welcome, welcome back. back. Yeah, I was back pretty quick. All right. Okay, okay. So let, let, me, Thank you. let me see what I can do here. Hold on. Right, we're going into reconfiguration. Uh -oh. Chat amongst yourselves uh -oh. here for a second here. If he all if, of a sudden the, shuts if off. The, if the stream goes down, it is what it is. Let's see what we can do. So I should be able to edit here. Uh oh. Oh, we got strange uh -oh. boxes going on. Oh, well, I'm I'm a little nervous. Me too. Do, 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 do. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh oh, that's. All right. So you guys can't see Ken editing this. No, but we can. But we can, and we're nervous. Okay. Now let's see if we can. Now the problem is there's no score. Right. Well, I don't think anybody cares to see the uh, the score. I think they want to see the topper. Okay. Well, hey, we can go with that. So this is as ghetto as it gets for the swap well, hang guys. On. Well, now we can just make up our score and cl right. We, we're all well hey, quest. Twenty one million. Yeah. Twenty one million. Right. <laughs> so we'll play a game with just the topper active. You like get twenty one million. <laughs> you get twenty one. And you, and get you get twenty one million. million. Yeah. Everyone gets twenty one. Twenty one five. Twenty one one. <laughs> 27 million. I'll, I'll take 27. Uh, okay. Okay. That, is, that, is that okay? Hi, Outer Spacey Tracy. It was really nice to meet you at Expo. Oh, wait. Neil called foul. Hey, Outer Spacey Tracy. Is that going to be okay for a game? And then we can go back to scores. Or you know what we could do oh, is... Look how good that looks. We could, we could just take, take our faces off of there altogether and just kind of move this up a little bit. That works too. And then we could just kind of transition. Peace, guys. Oh... Now it kind of looks like the topper is almost on top of the game. That's right. cool. Let's you know, do now it. it. Looks like we're going to go start up a game. We're good. We're good. Cool. And then, and then the challenge now is to put the scores in the pin quest box. Oh my gosh! Hold on a second. Ooh. It's it's getting it's getting. Uh, Can you do it? Wait, this is starting to sound like you know we're going to have some some fun stuff. Can you put your faces on the three faces of the topper? <laughs> like, the, like a Mount Rushmore. That would be funny. The answer to that is no. See, it's just suddenly the stream got more attractive. Yeah. Yes, it did. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren Helmet. <laughs> yes, it did. Okay. Well, we think the trolls look better anyway. So hey. All right. So then. No, you know what it is? Watch this. Oh. No, no, hold on. Hold on, we're going to do this. All right. Watching editing on the fly. Due to technical difficulties, tonight's match of Medieval Madness is postponed for just a few moments. There's been a lot of uh, technical difficulties. We have Sting singing. Give us the fill in music, sir. Oh, oh. Let's see if that works. Well, we're missing the yeah, scores. The one, right. Z Hold on. We need scores. Yes, we do. Hold on one second, guys. Uh, another two minutes. Just layers, right? You just yeah, I just got to make sure everything is in the uh, yeah. right order.
So you guys feel free, feel free to converse here while I yeah <laughs> while, while I All right, mess with so this thing. I am very entertained by this. This is uh that's the highlight of the evening. All, this is my this is, the this is more fun. You know, we get to watch him try and play with our right. cam and. All right. Score cam and switching some stuff around here. And then the last thing is going to be this cam. I feel like it's like a Photoshop layer type of thing. That's exactly what it is. With like the higher it, uh, it, it up is in the now list. Now we have the DMD cam. Nice. All right. We have oh. everything going here. Is that going to work? That looks beautiful. Ryan Good does job, not Dan. sing. No. That's Steve's job to sing. Okay. Okay, so Franchi's posting some announcements here as we were pausing for station identification. Uh, myself, along with Texas Pinball Festival's very own Ed Vanderveen and Dr. Pin, will be bringing the Super Awesome Pinball Show podcast twice a month starting this Black Friday. We've got some great special features planned, including uh, putting two pinball celebrities against each other in a trivia showdown and much, much more. Stay tuned for more details and like our new page and find out more and interact to Just to Click Here. Well, congratulations, man. That's pretty awesome. That's actually a longer plug than I've ever had for my podcast on the show. So I hope it pans out, man. That's good. I know we were anticipating that show for a while. So if there's anything we can do to help, please let me know. All right. Not G-rated, I assume. Should I switch? Is that going to work? What, what do you want to do? Switch the topper cam to? I think I need the to, I need a, the topper camera up a little higher. Hold on. All right. As we do some more adjustments here, right in the middle of Steve's game, that's worth an extra twenty one million points. What's what's time. I know what's worse than than saying Bill's name uh, when he's playing is is me adjusting cameras while Steve's got a Ken's arm pit in my you face. Know. Well, that yeah. was a twenty one million point adjustment. That's, that's what that's that's exactly three fifty. Come on, hey oh. Okay, yeah, so, congrats, Chris. I, I I heard that as I was walking away. Good stuff. And you got and you got Christian Line Doctor Pin on board. Interesting, interesting combo. Bill's still here. Very nice. <laughs> Bill. Mom says awesome work. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ken, ever the perfectionist. That's why we love it. Thanks, David Dennis. Love you too, buddy. Hey, it helps. Pinball Nerds Podcast. I love any such a perfectionist. I'm not that much of a perfectionist, guys. But I appreciate Super Skill Shot. That? I might yeah, have you all fooled. Probably. That's where your points are. <laughs> yeah, I... I I've been distracting Steve with no, with camera angles. It's never uncomfortable. Yeah. All right, he's stepping back up here. He's, he's going for the twenty-one million, the gold and medal he's for back. the night. Now take note how oh, he adjusts the camera. We're adjusting while some cameras. He's camera. there. All right. All right. All right. Oh, that look that does look good in the. Uh oh. You know. What do you Everyone, do, do we like the the topper cam? Did we get it right? Is it adjusted Hashtag good? Copper. Copper can. Hashtag copper, 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 copper can. Copper can. So we're just going to knock down castles, right? Yeah, yeah, knock down castles. Bust the castles. You still need 21 mil. Knock down castles, get the multi ball. And then you have to sit out for a few games. Then you're grounded. <laughs> then you're grounded. Oh, I thought it was that left out lane, buddy. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> left out lane was supposed to be getting you. You said we're supposed to hit the right out lane, right? Oh, no, that wasn't on the pin quest challenge tonight. Oh, I thought it was. I thought it was trying to get twenty-one right out lanes. Uh, wait, maybe we should try twenty-one left out I, lanes. We're I doing know. I've been good doing that, that pretty one. good in the out lanes. Uh, again, if you're joining us uh, late in chat tonight, uh, with us tonight is Ryan White. He's the vice president of sales at Chicago Gaming Company, and, and tonight he's brought Medieval Madness, the Royal Edition, which is the creme de la creme. It's it's the uh, Cadillac of all the remakes, especially Medieval Madness. Um, very limited number have been gone out and offered through distributors. So if you do not have one, you can try your favorite distributor. I tend to recommend Zach at Flipping Out Pinball at 847-778-4876. And if you're watching this stream, it's because Flipping Out Pinball has made it possible uh, by spreading the good word of pinball for everybody's benefit. So, uh, Ryan, thanks for being here, man. And thanks, hey. for, thanks for bringing the new toy. Hey, no problem. Uh-oh, we got a complaint. What's that? Saying that the camera is blocking the princess. 
Oh, yeah, there is a Camry right there. Yeah, because you turned it around. <laughs> no worries. Hey, should I fix it uh, while Steve's playing? I'll fix that in a second. Yeah, I, I did not notice that. I'm shutting the stream so down. Getting, I can't take it. We're getting all these Everybody people you go. know, telling us how to, how to win. No, it's good because it's like there's so many things. It's, it's sensory overload here between the pinball machine playing, the, the sounds coming from the game, the, the topper effects. Uh, and then, our, then our normal Trying to readjust chatter. on the fly, our chatter. We've got uh, topper cam that's experimental tonight. Uh, Patent banking. pending. What's that? Patent, Patent pending. pending. Let me uh, let me let me do another adjustment. Oh man, I love this game, but it's kicking my ass tonight. Language child. A language. Please language. watch your language. That's Everyone, it. look, we got the official topper cam now. Oh, it's going above the, the topper. The top topper of the cam. garage cam. Now we see wires. We're good. Sweet. I think you got it cleared up here. We got we got topper cam. TC. Now we got, we what got I miss? ceiling what's, cam. What's going on here? Well, just, we're, we're trying to get the uh, full play field back. So we're readjusting the topper cam. I gotcha. Topper cam was topper cam was in the way the corner. Eh, it's of the still play there field. a little bit. I see. I see. Oh, the super awesome pinball show doesn't have a sponsor yet. Hint, hint. Well, hey, um, Chris, you have my email. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, I think you're good there. All right. We got Topper Cam Live. We got Arm in the Playfield. We got to the watch left, cam. To the what, right. what time we got? Anybody see how many? Uh, yeah, that looks good. I think we're good. Whose turn is it? It's it is Ryan's turn. I just waited for you to do the adjustments first, so this way I didn't get messed up. Man, I'm getting my workout with camera adjustments. David L. Dennis of 47 bits. Thank Yo, you so much, man. We saw your steps on your. Uh, I really, your really watch appreciate there. that. What's that? We saw your steps on your on your watch. <laughs> yeah, my steps. It's like it says uh, forty-two camera adjustments on my Samsung watch. Three pizzas, five beers, right. and forty steps today. Hit, hit my uh, my three camera adjustment quota for the day uh, again. And we are we are streaming the uh, Medieval Madness Royal Edition from Chicago Gaming Company. Brought to us today by Ryan White, Vice President of Sales of Chicago Gaming Company. So, yeah, thanks, Ryan. Always fun. And uh, Zach Many. Uh, distributor who runs this channel. Zach and Nicole, many of flipping out pinball. Uh, area code 847-778-4876, or you can contact Zach at Zach at flippingoutpinball.com. You can see that information in the upper left half corner of your screen. Give him a call. Look at that bit cup, man. It's all packed up with, with generosity. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, very cool. The Malort Topper Cam brought to you by Old Milwaukee. The Malort Topper hey. Cam would just break off and fall onto the playfield glass and shatter it all over the place. <laughs> Everyone's struggling here, Ryan. What's up? Uh, you know, hey, it's a Topper Cam. Does it feel steep to you tonight? No. No? Okay. <laughs> it's the topper cam. Just gotta get, just gotta get the groove back. I'm, I'm starting to get the groove, and then I lose it, and then I get it, and then I just gotta get the groove back, man. Oh, 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 oh! Uh, just came close to that 21 million. Just checking the game out. <laughs> I, d I looked at it earlier, and I was like 21 mil. Like I got this. Oh, my turn. Right so, out lanes. So, so now, go get it. I get it. Ball three. He only got 17.2 million to go. Oh gosh, so bad. That's easy. Maybe we do uh maybe we do after hours call in while we're playing. <laughs> we might be here all night. <laughs> I know. Well it's already eight o'clock, so I'm trying to figure this out. We gotta get there. We'll get there. What's what's your curfew tonight? A curfew? What's that? I just have to be back at work at the That's morning. what I'm asking. 
You can probably just go directly from here. Is it closer? No. Okay. No. Still head back to Indiana. So you're not sleeping over after you heard all no, about no, all no, my no, no, no. RGB lighting and uh, no, I don't need mirror to go blades to the, in the bedroom. Don't need to go to you the sure? you know, Yeah. With my performance anxiety for my pinball performance anxiety you know, pills. We, do, we don't need, you know, Hotel California up there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Are you sure? Yeah. Remember. All right. No worries. No worries. You know, you can check out anytime you want, but you can never leave. Well, yeah. You can't leave until you get 21 million points here. Because as we look at the uh, Pin Quest Challenge... All or nothing, each player tonight must score 21 million points at some point this evening for us to earn those other 2,500 bits. So, and we have not combined for a score of 21 million, so. No, we're getting a little closer, though. We are getting a little closer. Well, of the combined I'm score I'm for a, 21 I'm million. a third the way. Is it a falcon or a hawk? Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, this game's cool, man. Lauren Helmets going. Pigon. Pigon. Pigeon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like the new setup there. That's good. That's good. Oh, look at that topper, man. The topper's rocking it out. Top of madness. Long Cromwell side never gets old. Lord Helmet, thank you. Uh, Bill is is at home tonight, taking care of the family. Topper Cam kicks ass. Thanks, Chris. I have to come up with a. Never thought we'd have a topper cam. It was on the fly, so it was not thought of. Maybe Bill will call in. Sing us all a lullaby. <laughs> Bill's not <laughs> getting any sleep, so. Mech Jedi, what's going Locked on? What's up, away. fellas? Thanks for streaming Medieval Madness Remake. Yeah, so this is the the Royal Edition of Medieval Madness Remake with yeah, the topper. Yeah, buddy. And the fancy, completely trimmed out powder coated trim level upgraded sound system extra wide dmd upgraded color and display hd display graphics some mirror blades just showed up is everyone having issues with the video asks gleno 570 uh, hope, hope not we haven't heard anything have not heard so anything i would thing, hit refresh one thing you might want to try refresh and then set it to 1080p in your settings and if that doesn't work Put the phone down and walk away. Because <laughs> we don't want you to be frustrated tonight. Hey, Tiki Pinball. What's up, Tiki Pinball? Tiki Pinball, what up? With 100 bits. Good seeing you at Expo. Uh, and I missed Dave yeah, Falcons here with a bit. Thank you, Dave. Dave. Did not see that. Dave's running smooth. All right, cool. Pinball Nerds Podcast uh, just has to get a recording of Bill saying, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. And then, uh, <laughs> and then press it if I'm feeling lonely. At any time of the day. If anybody needs that for a ringtone, I'm sure we could set that up. Is that what it is? Have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Yeah, good. Yeah. Have yeah. a great night, yeah. guys. I'm out. Thanks, man. Be good. Pirate Captain Red Eye. Courtney's like, nope. <laughs> nope. Nope, 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 nope. That's not it. So Ryan looks like what he's is? in some uh, Ryan's in some, some action here. Oh, 14. So this might be the game, huh? He was blowing this game up earlier. That. Yeah, he was. He so. was doing a little, uh, a little. He, he wasn't. Well, a little QC. <laughs> I'm just kidding. A little QC before. I like your shirt, by the way. Yeah, I like your shirt too. Thanks, man. Good choice. Um, start flipping up pinball uniforms. Ryan's like, you want to throw a game? I thought we were gonna get polos. Or we'll get polio. Polos and khakis. Polos and khakis. So Ryan's in Castle Multi Ball, and it looks like he's just he's he just. Qualified as He's 21 million points. Boom. There we go. So that's the first first one of the evening. Pink Quest Challenge. Each player must score 21 million points. Ryan has just done that. Ken and Steve, not far behind. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Yeah. Cut. Legit freaking lighting on the topper. Nicely done. Yeah, the topper is incredible. They they yeah, really, really crushed the topper. Hashtag topper cam. Topper cam. 
Birdo Drink One, what's going on? What's up, fellas? Just checking in. I love this pin. That topper's amazing. Topper is amazing. Pin's amazing. Everything they did to this pin is amazing. Uh, Glenno570 says, uh, Zach, I've never cared two farts about toppers. The last couple have impressed me. Chet Longstrokes, will the Royal Edition have software settings and adjustments? And if so, will non-Royals get any of them? You can ask Ryan when he gets off. He's playing right now. Pinball nerds. <laughs> 20 million legit. Told you. Ooh, yes, you did. Ooh, the topper twippy. Is there a topper twippy? I don't know. I don't think that there is. There should be. New category. What's up, Anonymous? Wow. Hey, it was nice meeting you at Expo 2, by the way. And thanks for what you do for pinball streaming. Uh, question on the remake. Remake. Boom. Did they update how the flippers feed? Look at uh, that. They feel great the on bonus. the Monster Back remake. Well, Ryan Shoot from CGC again. is playing right now. And when he comes back, Anonymous, if you don't mind, ask him again. Uh, Super Jackpot lighting is, is damn cool, says Zach. So what's up with the next game? Hey, what's up, Siggy Sour? Good hearing from you, buddy. Uh, so what's up with the next game? Is it Cactus Canyon, or did they finish the code? Come on. You know you won't hear that <laughs> it's like, tonight. Yeah, I don't think you're going to hear that tonight. Good question, I, though. But I encourage you asking, Ryan, as soon as sure. you're done blowing up the game. Yeah, hold Pitball on. Pitball Nerds Podcast, there should be a topper, Twippy. Uh, I assuming there's enough toppers. That would be a pretty fun category. It would be a good category. What category would uh, Pin Quest fall under for a Twippy? It'd be like, um, like best a pinball, pinball add-on app or something. Add pinball app, app, maybe. Yeah, I think so. How about Rookie of the Year? It's because like, it's, it's like new Rookie of the Year. Rookie of the Oh yeah, I got you, got you, got you, got you. Yeah. If the zombie dog says, I've got uh, so much Halloween candy left, and I gave away the good stuff, only to have the shit. Really, I don't know what happened. It's, sorry Ooh. to hear that. Keep it on keep it on topic here. You know? RGB lighting <laughs> is incredible on the game. No trick-or-treaters here. How about you, Ken? I, I did have some trick-or-treaters. The one thing I wish that I would have gotten for Halloween this year that I did not get in any of my kids' bags was Taco Pizza. Oh, What's up, oh, Taco, Taco Pizza? pizza. Oh, Always good seeing Taco Let's Pizza. Making me hungry. Week. Ryan. Damn. Hey, Taco hey. Pizza with 400 bits Woo. on cue. Thank you, Taco Pizza. All right. He's ordered us some Taco Pizzas. Had, had a couple. Uh, you're welcome, Anonymous, for the shirt. I had a couple questions in regards to, are the flippers feeding the same on this remake than your other prior remakes that you guys had? Has, has anything changed no. from a physical standpoint? No. Okay. Franchi with 5,000 bits. Chris, come on, man. What's going on, Chris? I think that makes him an official sponsor of the stream tonight, brought to you by the Super Duper hey. Awesome Pinball Shower. So, oh, and by <laughs> the way, Ken, yeah. you got to chase that ball. I know, man. 49 million points. <sighs> so that officially means and I'm one of three. us. Yeah, Hang you're on. off. Yeah, I know. One of us has done it. One of us has done this. Reached 21 million points tonight. And, I mean, if I put a couple... That also means I have Good to sit together. out the next game so you guys have a better chance. I yeah. like your style on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that was, well, while you were doing Topper Cam, we, we, were, Thank we you, came Chris up Franchi. with that one. Yeah, yeah, you'll drive the mic. It's all so, good. Yeah. Um, so now I, I really became Mr. Webb and your host tonight. Okay, so you got the the two castles of the multiball. I got That's, um, and more than that. two different multiballs, then two ma or three madness multiball. Three madness, okay. Then That's hit the castle and then just started destroying castles and yeah, we just kept going. Yeah, you just you just kept going. And just kept that, that was nice. Kept man. that last multi ball going, jackpot, 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 yep. jackpot. Yeah. That's fun when you get when you open the game up like that. Oh Neil, <laughs> I'm the person you least expected to achieve this. And I'm the first one out. Oh come on, Neil, you've seen you've seen our gameplay before. I'm, I'm the first one out, you know? I mean, come on. I want to be yeah. out. Well, uh, get up there. You got to play. I, I do. I, I'm like averaging in the, between like six and seven, eight but mil. See, it is possible. You now it have is. learned. You, it you've is. seen. It is possible. You know? I mean, if you subscribe, if you, you get your phone out, oh, wait, it's there. I hope I'm next. I don't want to be the last one. Right. Just, you can just not go back and it. watch or get on YouTube. Find a video on how to play better. <laughs> how to play better. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to play better, Ryan. Oh, a couple more of these bad boys. Couple more beers, huh? A few, yeah. a few more, a few more pale ales, and you'll be, Maybe. you'll be right there. So, once again, we want to thank Here you for the challenge tonight. Yeah, thanks. Oh, now see, there's that topper cam. Yep, yep, that, did, that did its job. 
The topper cam really does its job when you blow it looks, castles. It looks great. It looks great. Franchi is one of the most generous people in pinball. Fact. Faux show. All right, catch it up on chat here, guys. All right. Franchi's making Zach moist. All right, next. So I'm going to real quick address the issue of flipper lag, okay? It has been discussed. It has been discussed. It has been discussed. You know, there was some production problems in the beginning, I guess, for, on MMR um, as far as some things that were manufactured wrong. Sure. Okay. But when it came down to actual flipper lag based on the electronic software, they're actually at the exact same speed. Okay. So your shots are exactly there. The big difference is it's brand new. It's you know, brand it doesn't new, yeah. have... People years are used to that play. old 20 years. Doesn't have that 20 years worth of life. You're playing on a digital digital game versus now an analog system. Sure. So in this game, too, can you can you go and adjust your flipper strength? Yes. Okay. Well, this like is that. all set at default. Yep. You know, I mean, if push comes to shove, we might have to turn them up for you a little. You know, that would be during the 30-second timeout. Yeah. <laughs> well, like a... I have an AFM, right? Right. And, and I, you can I, I, I bump them bump, bump a little bit just to, just so it plays a little quicker. Right. You know? We can make this one play quicker. I mean, you're hitting the ramps. The ramps are fine. Everything's fine in yeah. this game, but sure. You know, so the whole point I is that like we... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got a replay. Okay. Dude, Ken's he's getting, at, he's getting 21. You might be the last this guy out. Bullshit. You might have to play by yourself. I'm going to go play, gonna go play by myself. <laughs> Can I just start three players? And <laughs> no, I don't like how okay, one did he, player. What did he do? He followed the same recipe. Ah, uh, see? Now the pressure's on. Yeah, it's well, he's there bad. with just a bonus. I mean, he's, right, but he's see, now it. it's real bad because you got two people on commentary while you play. No, that's fine. This is like you the Olympics. You really can't hear anything up there. Well, we'll get louder. Oh, that's fine. You know, bring it on. <laughs> I will need to use the restroom before my game. And I, you know, gotta, I got to go up with a clear mind and a clear bladder. Kid with 20 mil replica. Thanks for the bits, buddy. Woo! So see, now, now Steve, I'm not yes, putting right. any pressure on you. Oh, there's no pressure, bro. Okay. But no manufacturer has managed to make the pin quest challenge yet. I will be the first. Oh, all right. CGC will be the first. So there's no pressure on you, my no friend. Pressure. No He's, pressure. Ken's, oh, super jackpot. It's up. It's up. Boom. All right, we are two people in on the pin quest challenge here. The sweat is the sweat is beating on the BD. Hang on, there's no player cam. We don't have a player cam. I can be Ken number two. We have a Ken copper cam. Ken can be my stunt double. But see, the problem is we got a camera facing is facing the. Doesn't matter. The news desk here. Take the hoodie off. Kind of like. Uh, okay. You know. <laughs> ah, nice. We'll make a couple comments based off chat here, you know. I'll get, I'll one get, of the I'll get big on things, it. One of the big things we wanted to do yeah. was bring bring everything we do to the original medieval owners. Yeah. So it's one of those keys sure. to what was behind this was not just us announcing 500 games and we're going to do a certain amount. It was literally, what nice, can we Ken. do to bring the owners in? Dude, you brought it. You guys brought it. Brought it up to date. All it right. Up. We you guys two that's down. down. That's like a 24 million point ball. Three. All right. So. Um, we got so me out of it. So, so let's, let's double check the uh, pin quest challenges of the week here. And that was all or nothing. Each player must score 21 million points. Now, Ryan set the tone on that last game with about, what, 50 million points, right? It's close to 48. 48, something like that. I he hit 24. I uh, put a little fire under you there. Now it's now it's Steve. <laughs> That's, 
All right. Hey, well, hey. I got a little, uh, little spillage there. That's okay. It would not be a stream unless Steve had an exploding beer on stream. So I think we let Steve uh, so get some we, balls under his belt here and just let him see, play a little one player. We forgot to tell you the rule while you were adjusting. Oh, I'll wait for you to come out. Yep. Thanks. Okay. Okay. But see, we set a rule while you were adjusting. Sure. That every player, if you got in, yeah. you got out till the next one got in. So, like, you and I just hit the 21 million. Yeah. He's got to get it now. Yeah. So we won't play. So we we'll got to give him play. the most opportunity. I agree. To, to get that so we can we can meet this challenge. That, make, that makes sense to me. So we will. Uh, so hey, we're going to give him a done. few minutes. Yeah. You he, know, he's, he's going to clean up clean his, up his beard that exploded. He's got to clean up his mess. And then, you know, he's going to he's going to get the opportunity to go at it one on one. Right. Against the Lord of Pain. So we're, we will absolutely do that. Um, now, there's been some questions in chat in regards to what is the next game from CGC going to be? And when's it going to come out? And what, what do you got for us, Ryan? The next game coming out from CGC is Medieval Madness. <laughs> Super Diamond Royal edition. edition. Okay, so that's the Royal. So for all you listeners here tonight, oh. please stay tuned oh. for more Medieval Madness Royal Edition. So it's not Stranger Things? No. Damn it. All right. Sorry, sir. One could hope. And, One could hope. And they locked me out of that room. I yeah, told you, you that time and time again. You said that quite often. They locked me out of that room. Something tells me you've got a key to that room. Anyhow. Um, plan. Am I doing? You yeah, are you're doing, doing one a player. One player oh, game. Damn, you're doing one player. You, you got to call. You got two games where you got to hit. And and if you need to go into adjustments for five ball action, there's no disclaimer that you can't do that. I'm kidding. I know you can. I think what will help you, as it always helps me, is not having to wait two, three people. And you know what I mean. See, I hate. So that. now you got you got two games here. Yeah. Where it's got to be a one player game because of the bylaws we set. Correct. Correct. See, and I like that cause. Vacation America too. There it is. Yes. Vacation you, you America too. You read it here first in chat. Right. Vacation America too with Chris's art. I would like to see the back glass for Vacation America too. video. <laughs> he might be. So Steve, it's not that he had a lot to drink, but for whatever reason, Steve buys his beer at Costco, and whenever he opens it here, it explodes all over the place. I think Costco, because I don't get beer at Costco. I don't, I, I mean, not not because of any reason other than watching his explode all over my studio well, he, every time he, he comes likes up. the exploded beer. He does. And Circus Lloyd's <laughs> with us. <laughs> is, we is have Lloyd Lloyd. Hey, what's up, Lloyd? Uh, SS Punchy the Clown we Lloyd. Replica X, Circus Voltaire, or Theater of Magic would be nice in the future, says Replica X. Pim Mulner's podcast. He agrees with Ken. When playing a one person game, it's way easier to keep your flow going. Absolutely. That's why I've got a lot of respect for the tournament players. I don't know how they how they do that, but. Uh, no to Circus Voltaire. I don't want mine to lose a value. And Chris, you don't know what Vacation America is. Oh, I th that must mean he's working on the artwork right now. Yeah, hey. Good times. Hey, a little tilt. It gets so quiet in here when you tilt. Two, two times it gets real quiet. One when you tilt, and the other is like when you open a beer. Or when he spills it. Because everyone's, well, okay, that's inevitable. Oh, it's going to explode. Um, when he opens one, everyone's like... It's like, it's you're hold, you're holding your breath. In his face. <laughs> you're, just, you're waiting not to drown. You're taking a deep uh, breath like you're shower? going into the deep end of the pool. Oh, good times. Future Spy Remake, please. Toten, Toten, Toten. BD just picked up a Toten. All right. Good thing is he gets two games. What was your favorite game that you played that wasn't Chicago Gaming Company at uh, Expo this year? Did you have anything that stood out? That I really, with this one, just didn't get yeah, a chance to really play much right. anything. I get it. I get it. You know, I mean, honestly, I played a couple of EMs at night, and that was about it. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, now, Franchi thought that you guys were doing a kid and play pin, so he might have to readjust the artwork. Uh, Orbital Alberts, uh, speaking of tournaments, can any chance he'll come to Pittsburgh next year? Yes, there is a chance that I'll hit replay effects. If, if I don't hit TPF, I may opt to go to, if I can, uh, and I'm not, I don't need to play in Pinburg, but I'd like to go to replay effects. I'd like to visit the whole Pennsylvania. I'd like to go to Helicon Brewing. Um, I'd like to hang out with, uh, you know, Miss Pin and Dr. Pin. And, and there you go. And there's a lot of people on that East Coast that it would be fun to just play in their natural habitat. So that is absolutely a possibility. Uh, Albert, are you coming to TPF? What's your schedule look like for the next uh, year of tournaments? Birdo Drink 1 and a new Adams Family. 
he's asking for. Of course, you know. Yeah. I think there's a poll on Pinside on what we're doing next. So join yeah. in the chat. Just, yeah, just everybody. I enjoy reading it. The thing is, that, like, a lot of those rumors end up at some point being true. Not, a, not about CGC per se, but, I mean, rumors have to start from somewhere. But I'm, I'm noticing a lot of misinformation lately, whether it be intentional or trolling. And I've, I'm going to say this, too, man. I'm spent with the trolling. I'm, I'm sick of it. There's a lot of it out there. I'm sick of it. It's like... There's a lot of trolling out there. I, I will say this. It, it's just it's, not fun from a manufacturer anymore. It's fun to read read what people are talking about. It's fun to read what people are talking about, but it's like... I don't know. I'd almost rather just don't even say anything versus trolling. It's like... There's too much of it out there. I know. I read, uh, I'll get off my soapbox. I read. Yeah, I know see you See what's read. out there. Comment when I need to. Steve, you getting loose now? Get three castles. Just bang the castle. I'm leaving door. the headphones on anyway. See, so therefore you go. You take down three castles. You have a cumulative score that should be good. Now see, that's a that's a good trilogy there. What's that? Monster cereals, Count Chocula, Frankenberry, and Booberry. Yeah. I'm telling you, that would that's it. Falgren's 80 percent TPF. I'm like 60 percent TPF. Oh, you gotta go. Because to Joe Fox is gonna be there. You gotta go TPF. I've been there. I know. It's always a good show, though. It, no, it is. It's a really good show. I, it's just very busy. It's just the travel is is tough. I don't know. I don't like traveling all that much. Um, but Ed, Ed Vanderveen throws hosts a great show. Um, the, the Twippies being there really appeals to me. It's one of the most fun things I've done in pinball in a long time was attending the Twippies. So, yeah, I'd, I'd like... I like to go to all these shows, you know. And for and as as they pointed out, it is a week before MGC, so that's tough too. And I, I for for the walking wounded, it's yeah. gonna go from nice in Texas to. Have, have you noticed that ever since they moved MGC into Central Milwaukee, it yeah. snows every year. Yeah, yeah. It can be like eighty the day before. Yeah, it, it, and on it the loadout, it, it snows. Yep, every yeah. year. Unload, yeah, uh, only on loadout. Well, and. It hasn't bothered me because I've never gone to MGC. I've, I've yet to be to MGC. Oh, you've yet to be at MGC? I've not been there. So, and yeah. to your point, you're right. Like, you can't go to TPF. At least I can't come back and then tell the way, oh, by the way, next weekend. No, so you come back from TPF. I'll be in Milwaukee. You like, come back from TPF. You, you drive for the day. Yeah. You drive for the day. It's, it's, it's like a two and a half hour drive, man. It's not. Well, it is. But you can do it in an hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Just pedal down. Pedal down, man. I, I'm not a big traveler, man, and yeah. I, ha I hate traveling on airplanes. I hate. I hate. I'm not. I'm not going to stop talking about everything that I hate, because it started with trolling, and now we're in the traveling. And next thing you know, I'm going to be uh, pouring this beer directly into my eye and All right. busting gonna, out the guitar. I'm going to. I'm going to go into chat here for a yeah, minute. Yeah, please do. Please for do. Bur for Burbuki. Okay. What so you got? what you got is you got the MMR Royal. What you're seeing here today. What it's got, it's got the extra large display in it. The color. The HD graphics. It's got the upgraded sound, the sound system in it. Yeah. How's that sound, Ken? It sounds incredible. It really, really does. And I'm not just saying that because the game is here. Well, I am saying it because the game's here because I could hear it, but I'm not saying it for your benefit. It's really, really good. Hey, new follow. It's got the topper with it. Laura King our, and Bell, thanks for following. It's Thank got you. our black diamond powder with yes, it. Yes, it does. And the black diamond powder coating, we did the speaker panel, we did the hinges, we did the lockdown bar, the apron. The coin door, legs, everything we can do yes. to really bring this thing to to a whole nother level. When the when the when the back box hinges and the coin door are getting matching power coat powder coat trim, that means you're you're rocking it out. But, hey, extra ball's good. Steve's on a roll here. But I was gonna say, you know, even more than that is we did the apron, the lower arch. Yeah, oh yes. Yes. And we went ahead and did the speaker panel. I don't think anybody's done that in pinball unless you do. The speaker Costco. panel is also done. The speaker panel is also. I'm just done. noticing that now, man. That's You're pretty just crazy. Just noticing it now, huh? That yeah, that's pretty nuts. That, that has the black diamond on it. Yeah, it does. Anything wow. that is metal that we could powder coat. To that's make really this really thing cool. Look more invaluable. Wow, that's that dude. It's pretty awesome, man. And I wanted to say again, uh, Laura King Neville, thank you for the follow. Um, yeah, I'm getting grumpy, so I'm kicking people off the lawn right now. I did not, so I knew there was like an extra effort on the powder coating, but now you're telling me things that I'm now noticing, and it's like, it's... It jumps. It would be in a, it would be a pretty expensive powder coating package, I think, if you were to 
undertake it yourself unless you had a hookup. So I guess that's where jumping in on the Royal Edition is nice. It, it really is a great, a great piece. Everything is complete with that. We tried yeah. to put everything we could and then mourn it to, to really just right. to make this game amazing. And again, if you're just joining in the chat, I'm talking to uh, Ryan White. He's the vice president of sales at Chicago Gaming Company. And he's the one that brought out this Medieval Madness Royal Edition for us to stream here on the Flipping Out Streaming Network. So for that, Complete I thank new, you, buddy. Complete with our new Topper Cam. Yeah, so we, <laughs> we've got Topper Cam going tonight. And after Ten some penny. tweaking, we got it to, I think, uh, chat's liking. So thanks for the patience and thanks for the, for the feedback. Because without that feedback tonight, I don't know that we're Topper Camming. So, so it's pretty and to fun. Answer, and to answer EVH, we're going to be starting shipping these in early December. Yeah. Um, the CEs and SEs. Royal Edition to be coming out sometime in January. We're shooting for the first week of January, so it'll be somewhere right around there. And then you, you said Stranger Things would be like a March-April release. Um, Stranger Things, it's it's strange. We, we, <laughs> we really haven't... Somebody better be doing a, Stranger Things. That's, my, a, that's my jam. It's my jam, Ryan. It's a strange release date. Um, it's to be determined. Yes, that's awesome. Well, I mean, but thanks thanks for the information and, and the... Uh, again, even this game's right in front of me, and you're pointing things out that I hadn't realized. Okay. Wait. He's, now, Steve's coming. He just minute. hit 21 million. Steve, you hit 21 million. We've done it. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies for the, and for gentlemen. The, for, like, the second time ever in, in flipping out pinball history, We've hit all the pin quests tonight. Each player must score 21 million points. Oh, wait. And this is it, aren't we the first manufacturer to pull this off? Uh, yes. Um, yes, yes, you um, are. Wait Huge. a minute. So, Neil, um, yeah. Didn't think we'd do it. Beatty <laughs> with, like the walk with the walk off the bat flip. He's out. Steve, just turn the damn game Steve, off. We're keep done, going. man. Keep going. Keep up that good ball. <laughs> That's awesome, man. I've never seen Stranger Things. Am I missing out? Is it too late to back? No, it's not. Neither it's only three episodes. Go check it out. Pinball Obsessed said that he cheated. Ooh, foul play. You player. can't cheat. We got a camera on it. That's Come true. On, man. That's true. Hey, nicely done, and man. 23 million. Wow. <laughs> Dude, that's pretty sweet. And as PinQuest promised, 2,500 bits for us achieving the all or nothing PinQuest stream of the night. Hey, cheers. Yeah, buddy. See? Ooh. All right, good job. Wait, hold on. Good job. Fun. I got. I got to get a. Uh, well, I gotta once get, I heard the strategy, you know. I got to get a selfie of this moment. Why? Because we did it. <laughs> yeah, shit. We don't do this usually. <laughs> <laughs> get in here, Steve. Yeah. You ready? Oh, that's. Wow. That's a good camera. I like that. That, that looks Where's like it? a whole other camera. You ready? <laughs> nicely done, gentlemen. Hey, hey, nicely done. Nice. As we got the kill. Neil did not think we could do it. I yeah, it was looking it was looking bleak there for a little bit. And then grim. I have to remember that he said I was going to be the weak link. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah and, and you actually were the the strong. You were the leader of the cause. First one to get out there tonight, and the highest score of the night at about forty eight million points. Uh, flipping on pinball says Beatty needs a yeah, buddy. And Falgren says cheers with Costco beers. Got to be careful with those Costco beers. Dude, Congrats, Costco guys. Beers. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Fun stuff. Yes, yeah, a paid sign guy. Congratulations. I always want to say like Padres in something. My fault. Pinball says says he was just kidding. Uh, stream looks great. Thanks. Thanks, Chet. Appreciate it. I think what we can do now is we could probably switch over to After Hours. You want to yeah. do that? Yeah. Yeah, why not? You want to go to After Hours? Let's go to After Hours. Yeah. So with After Hours, you've got live call-ins. You can ask us anything. Um, whether or not you get the answer you want to hear is, is going to be. Oh, wait, there's a request for you to do a selfie with the topper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we should go over there and do selfies with the topper. No? Uh, it's, it's like selfies with toppers. But I say before we go to after hours, we do a, just a short break here. Yeah, you know, it's not a bad idea. Let's pause for station identification on the Flipping Out Streaming Network. So we are going to uh, take a short break as Ryan freshens up, so to speak. And while we take our topless selfies, oh, oh caught us. <laughs> Busted. So, Ryan, tell me, how, how you having a good night, buddy? <laughs> Ryan. Uh, where, where'd Ryan go? Somebody's always disappearing from the stream. <laughs> if it's not Bill the, Webb, it's Ryan. Ryan, right Ryan does the same thing as Bill Webb. Let's take a short break. <laughs> 
It's like, dude, I, gone. I don't have a 13 minute commercial to play, man. And yeah. you better oh. make damn sure that while that eight like, this second is like thing is going, you got to gotta haul ass out of here. Like, Whoop. Right. Yeah, He's I don't know barely if it's out behind, right. yeah. behind Probably sounds, sounds about right. Anyways, uh, the number you can call in is 630-283-2888. If you want to talk to Ryan, I recommend uh, just waiting a couple minutes. He'll be back here shortly. Oh, um, the opener again. Zach, Zach, Zach has a good point. What's that? The Monday Night Pinball Opener. Thanks for joining us so far on Monday Night Pinball. Everyone's here for Monday Night Pinball, and and that's I love it. you're damn straight. It's a flipping out pinball uh, love ad it. here because you know what, flipping out pinball is not only sponsoring the stream, but uh, effectively creating additional awareness for pinball machines that that some may or may not see. Yeah, so I'm I'm absolutely behind it. It's good times. As we wait for Ryan to return from his uh, extended break, let's play the opening again, but in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for some football? It's like the podcast. I listened to it like 1.3. Whoa, just, which one? Just Better, a, just not a, special one lit, I hope. No, hey. no, 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 not none of them. None of them pinball related. Yeah, well, we've got to be careful there. <laughs> <laughs> be careful what you say there, Steve. <laughs> um, I do want to check out. Oh, it's great. I can lie. What's that? Started to sweat a little bit up there at that last game. Hey, that, like, was, right. that was a nice like, right. that was a nice close on that game, man. I'm because good here, but if I drain, then I get I need to do this all over again. Yeah, and maybe again, and maybe start, again. Start from scratch. <sighs> it is it is a little tough when you when you have to do that. It's like ah, oh. <laughs> I know. It's like what's gonna happen? One eight hundred toppers. This is Zach. Hey, what's up? I wanted to order a medieval madness topper and a uh, a royal kit, please. Hey, topper man. What's up, Absolutely. man? Absolutely, you can do that. And if you if you uh, if you phone in now and you order now, we will do custom remodeling, restoration of those lowly ceiling tiles. We'll jack that damn floor up yes. so you can fit all the <laughs> damn toppers you can. Yes, only from one eight hundred toppers. One hundred toppers. The uh, so I hope the topper cam How's was to your satisfaction tonight, Zach, because I know you really wanted to make sure that we had the topper. You know, yeah. You know what's sad? If I was going to look at a new house. And I needed that beautiful basement, and it had low ceilings. Yeah, I'd say, <laughs> hell like, no. I'm <laughs> out. I'm out. This ain't gonna work. So it's I it's gotta f- have more time. I know. <laughs> it was fun having uh, Ryan back for the second time. Every time Ryan comes, he brings, hey, welcome back, Ryan. He brings some nice treats. To Sorry, the, guys, uh, I had to go to freshen studio. up for a minute. I understand. Got to powder the nose a little bit. We've got Zach from flipping up pinball on the line. Um, well, what's happening, Zach? Thanks for calling in today. Oh, nothing, nothing much. We're just Thanks talking about a t- whole podcast episode it. dedicated to pinball toppers, and I'm already I'm already formulating ideas. What? Oh, wait. We on we on the <laughs> pe- it, pending man. the topper cam. Okay, just remember that topper cam belongs here. So so Kaz is suggesting twit, which is this week in toppers with Zach Menet. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> horrible. It's not, it's not bad it. actually. <laughs> Nicely done, Kaz. Uh, good times. Well, We've we got s- a good chat going on, fellas. Yeah. I'm loving the people in chat tonight. Yeah, we're Hollywood on Hollywood here. What's up, Greg? How are you, buddy? Yeah. We got a we got a couple of them being some royal turds, if you know what I mean. Ah, bro, turds. That's nah, okay. But, uh, other than that, a lot of love. That's okay. We're on. It, it, it is fun. what it is. We've been having fun tonight. Uh, the game shot well. It's we all hit the pin quest challenge. We hit the pin quest challenge tonight, which was uh, each one of us having the score. 
21 million points. So that was that was fun. <sighs> Steve got the walk off. 48 million? Right? Something <sighr> like that. Yeah. You got the walk off, though. You got the walk off. Yes. The man, the myth, the legend. What's going on? Uh, and actually, there was another uh, kind of bonus content that was released for. Uh, what just is saying through there? We just had a new follow. Yeah, can't see it. Can't see it with that. Gilpin Brewer. Brewer. Welcome to the Flippin' Out family, buddy. What's up, Thanks buddy? for following us. Uh, we, had, we had a little Flippin' Out Pinball bonus cribs episode that came out of the uh, uh, Studio B. Sure did. That was pretty fun. Are we going to see more yeah, of this or Steve, what, man? Steve Beatty went, Steve Beatty went all improv on us. Oh, he did a great gosh. job. Yeah, you caught me uh, off guard, but I, yeah, uh, a little bit. You know, it was good stuff. Good stuff. The camera man. loves you, Beatty. Uh-oh. Dude, your editing skills. Make it, man. See, I'll, now I'll you tell you what. If you notice, I've been oh, growing stop. my hair out a little bit. Oh, yeah. So the people Keep can. Keep going. Keep going. No, stop. <laughs> Here we go. Pe- oh, wait. Because Pe- I have can... twins on each side of me? Right. Well, oh. Hey. That's why I'm in the middle. decipher a little bit between us because there's been there's been some confusion. Um, well, well, the shirts, a... the, the, the magic shirts don't know, help. They really went for the, the twins like tonight. It's like, oh. I think they <laughs> called each other and coordinated. Well, we do. It's a coordinated effort here at Flipping Out Streaming Network. It is. So it is. There's no fun, uh, no doubt about it. Uh, we really like the new uniforms, Zach. Thanks for supplying uh, the Flipping Out Pinball. Yeah, man. Uniforms for us. They're um, so, like the I said, stirrup socks are, are badass. These are nice shirts. They're very soft. Very soft. Can, can people get, get these shirts I'll from you? Or? Ryan. Yeah, I need to get Ryan you know, one. I have to get Ryan a shirt. Ryan, what are you, a schmedium? Well, hey, you know, I, I did get a shirt from you, but unfortunately, I do wear it around. Um, but in this one here, right. I've got to represent all the dealers here and you included, so this way we Absolutely. went ahead and went with the Chicago gaming shirt tonight. So he can he cannot have any bias towards any manufacturer this evening. But he's got a tattoo of flip or any other uh, distributor. Out. We've we've yes, seen we did see that, and th- we can't show that on stream because of the location. <laughs> I was waiting. I was just Ryan. I no, was wait, wait, hang up. I was waiting for the uh, I was waiting for the Chicago Gaming Company uh, underwear uh, and topper is already included. If you know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, we are not launching a clothing line tonight. <laughs> and uh, with like, Zach dropping like off the line, that leaves Zach the line open. Like, Zach, Zach just hangs, hangs up yeah. nowadays. It's like, there's no. a bag. Gotta, well, go. Right, a singer. gotta go. He always says something really uncomfortable, bangs the hell out of here, and then <laughs> leaves us to deal with the aftermath. So, Love it. in it's any okay. event. So, what else is going on at Chicago <laughs> Gaming Company, uh, Ryan? But, so, this game, when is the next time we'll see Chicago Gaming Company um, at another pinball show? What's your next stop? Uh, IAPA. Okay, where is that and when is that? Iapa, Florida. Yep. Um, big international show. Mm-hmm. Coming up in two weeks, two and a half, three weeks. Okay, cool. so you'll be down there? Yeah, I'll be down there for that one. So do you have a pretty extensive traveling do a little bit with this? I do mean, a little bit. Now, this game will be going to a couple shows, and that'll be about it. Um, Iapa is out in Orlando. Okay, um, all right. You know, this Orlando. game. Midnight right. Madness champion was Kaz. Did you see that? that was Zach, weird. will you be down at so, IAPA? I, I don't think you will be. So for those people who were at Expo, this is one of the games that was at Expo. So we just pulled it right back out and brought it here. Well, we appreciate the, social, the show special on this one. So it'll be fun to keep this one here. I appreciate it, man. Oh, it's it's going to be here for <laughs> another a, another hour, maybe? Yeah, hour no, and a half? I don't even think it'll be there that way. <laughs> You know, it's uh, then it gets loaded back up and comes back and goes back to Cicero tomorrow. I'm pretty I'm pretty comfortable, you know, breaking down and setting up games. Uh, this was no different. Like we were able to I set it up. You know what I was most scared about handling was the freaking topper, man. Oh, <laughs> like yeah. The, I was yeah, so yeah. afraid and like something slips and this topper goes down. Uh, so. I don't know. Uh, well, the topper is kind of a one of one left. I know that's what I was. That was a, what I was afraid of. I'm like, if like a head pops off, or I knock an axe off of a troll or something. Uh, EVH three forty seven. What's number four, Ryan? Number four. They locked me out of that room. Number four. What's number four, Ryan? It's Vacation America two. Okay, it's Vacation oh. America two. Brought to you by Chris Frenchy. <laughs> Arcade Hollywood played Monster Bash at Expo. Love the larger DMDs. I love the larger DMDs too. Yeah. You know what? And I, I would almost, I almost prefer, and I can't really say this, but if I had to take a choice between the extra large DMDs with the HD rendered graphics or LCDs, I, I, I'd be really hard to kind of make the decision on that because I, I just, I love how a DMD looks in a classic game. 
but this is like the best of both worlds because it's it's an extension of the original DMD. It is using utilizing LCD technology. Sure. Well, what we have to do is we have to redraw everything. Yes. Yeah. To go into yeah, yeah. to go into this LCD technology. Right. So everything we do is redrawn. Um even down to the classics. Those are redrawn too. Yeah. Wow. And we go yeah. ahead and do the HD display to really just bring that art to life for those people who want it. Okay. You know, you can get your color kit on your classic edition and it'll still bring that HD dis- HD graphics to you on the right. smaller on the smaller display. Right. So, but this package here just with the with the it's, kits available. Yeah, yeah. Not even just the Royal, but the kits available brings this game to a whole new life. I mean, even the even the speaker RGB lighting is Oh, I like that. Yeah. I mean, but I like it's not that. it's just it's not random. I mean it's it's changing colors with modes. It's synced with the machine, just like the topper. When you watch the play field, yep. this the speaker back panel and the topper all kind of synchronized. It's it's pretty impressive uh addition to a game room. So if you have the means, I highly recommend picking one up. It's a great game. If you own an original MMR, you can always pick up kits to customize it to get exactly the way you want yes. it to be, too. Yes. If you just want the topper, you don't want the RGBs. If you just want the extra large display, you can get that. And then breaking news tonight was Ryan stating that for those that have original Medieval Madnesses, you're not supposed to be able to grab this topper and have it plug and play because there's simply nothing to plug into it. Uh, the, the, these new toppers go with the remake machines only, but there are plans in the works, and there's, this is being worked on. Right. That to, there's a to potential offer planetary. to offer through planetary pinball, being able to purchase one of these Medieval Madness toppers and then install them on an original Medieval Madness game with some interaction. So you're not necessarily losing out on that topper by being an original owner. So it, so it won't run the, at least as of right now, it probably won't run the RGBs interactive with your play field. Sure. Sure. Yeah. But it will run a good light show. Similar to what you'd see, you know, we'd run it in a very good light show. Right. Yeah. Something that's in development right now, um, coming out for all owners of, that have ever owned a medieval madness and still own it, whether it's the original or whether it's the MMR. Very it's, cool. it's pretty awesome. Or the remake. Very cool. Now, the um, remake, I mean, we've just enhanced it into lighting. We've enhanced it into everything. Right. Yeah. yeah the yeah. modes, as you saw tonight with Topper Cam. <laughs> Topper Cam yeah, yeah. was an impromptu uh, thing that we did here where we were able to kind of put that topper uh, up and ready to go. But it is but it is official. We own it now. Zach, you cannot steal it. No, I, I don't think he's going to steal that. But I did want to welcome uh, Jeff from This Week in Pinball into chat. Uh, Greg Bone from Straight on the Middle into chat. What's up, Jeff? What's up, Greg? Kaz asking if This Week in Pinball is on a vacation this week. And uh, Jeff saying, yeah, it was until now. Well, welcome back to work, Jeff. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Get to right. it. We're yes. waiting for your email. <laughs> SS Tirana asking for thoughts on the RGBs. I know my thoughts on the RGBs is once you see them, you can't unsee them. Like, you want the RGBs. It's it, just kind of where totally. I go with it. I mean, yeah. and, and I noticed that especially on, on Monster Batch. The utilization of the RGBs on Monster Batch is some of the coolest utilization of RGB lighting that I've seen on a pinball machine. It really, what we did with this is really just enhanced and brought it up to what we're doing with everything else. Right. Um, you know, when you get into trolls, it's going green. When you get into, when you're blowing up castles, it goes red and whites. And when you get to 21 million, it turns green because then all the bits are coming from pin, pin quest. <laughs> What is that? Is that catapult that turns blue? I like the blue. The blue looks really good. The blue, yeah. I mean, and really, it, it's it's a nice set. Now, yeah. one thing that one thing that I everyone fails to realize is on the royal. If you don't like the RGBs, the interactive, yeah. you can turn it off. You can turn it to just white. Yeah. Right, game. right. Yeah. So, oh, which is going to really? be more of like a true. Yeah. All of the CGC oh, games right. that have RGB lighting, you can shut the RGB off to just go to white. Did right. not know that. So this way, nice. uh, this way you can still get all the other features. Very cool. But and not have the RGB for those people who don't like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it is it is a personal choice. But we think we did it very tastefully, um, and it really enhances the game in this one. You know, they started with a great <laughs> yeah, game. We just made it a little right. better. So no, it's good. I was just reading. Uh, Jobbers is saying uh, this week in pinball's uh, top story: Topper Cam changes, changes the, the industry. industry. Hey. <laughs> Topper you cam. heard it here first. Topper cam. Unbelievable. So <laughs> I'm I'm just I'm s- scanning chat here. <laughs> right. The uh so I remember when I had my attack from Mars LE, it came with with more of the warm uh white LED lighting. Now in, in that one you could have switched it to cool white. I did switch it to cool white, but it was like a it's proprietary a bulb. Yeah. 
No, I mean I literally switched the bulbs out. Right. I yeah. know that you could you could have changed like the brightness of the right. GI, but I switched and I'm trying to remember. I think at the time it was like pinball bulbs. Somebody had um, the replacements. Are there replacements? Available if you want to go from a warm white to a cool white, because I'm a cool white kind of guy. You're a cool white kind of guy. Um, as far as for this game, uh, well, yeah, I mean, so this game, and it's hard for me to tell because I've got the Penn Stadium Extremes on. This is a warm LED uh, GI, also, right? Or no, it's RGB. It's RGB. Right, RGB. right, right, right. So know, cancel that out. Where are you going with that, Ken? Yeah, <laughs> I'm going, going on my mind. Where are you going with that? You hey. need another one, okay? Because you're losing your mind right now. It's been it's been a long night. No, but I mean, so Attack from Mars remake LE. Was not RGB lighting. No, no. So could you see an RGB lighting or re-release of Attack from Mars remake? That not in the plans. Okay. Not in the plans. We're going to leave Attack as it is. Attack as is. Interesting. For right now. For right now. You know, we don't plan on bringing Attack back anytime soon. Hmm. So. Because that already has the topper. Um, and it had that that kind of well, you had different trim oh, the, colors the that you could have cool. picked on that. You could have right, picked that, that one had the green, green, the green, or the, the black. black. Right, 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 right. Right, the green or black. It, ha- it, ha- it has everything besides the RGB. That's pretty. That awesome. game's great. As we get, we, uh, will we see any more Franchi artwork on uh, a CGC machine? Uh, is being asked by flipping out pinball. Well, flipping out pinball. French, you want to answer? Ryan, you want to answer? He did a great job on our back glass, and he's more than welcome to work with us anytime. Chris is the back glass or the topper? The topper. Oh, he is, little, he is amazing there. to work with. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> he is an amazing artist, and literally, without him, that topper would not look as beautiful as it does. I've always and been a very sure big fan does. of Chris Franchi's artwork, and, and in fact, if you if you go down to our original studio, most of the basement that I have pinball art wise is 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 Franchi. It is. Um, his ultra realistic stylized version of art like is appreciated by me. So it's it's nice to see that, you know, he's got a little bit of his DNA on the top of the topper there. And so uh, to reach out to Kaz, we went through a lot of problems to get the extra large DMD for medieval. It has been in process for a long time. The original plan wasn't to do it. We finally got through everything. To get that topper, get that topper released. There was so many people that were requesting the extra large display for it that it took a lot of pushing to get through yeah. all the licensing and all the hurdles to get that topper out, wow. to get the extra large display out for medieval. It was not something that was planned because originally it was like, nope, it's not going to happen. Sure. Did and you want to talk a little bit about like your background in pinball? Because. I mean, we don't have to do a whole big segment on this, but I, I find it interesting where you've been in pinball longer than people realize. You didn't just show up as a blip on the radar as a representative for Chicago Gaming Company. No, I, I've been around pinball for, for a little bit of time. You know, my one of my best friends is Matt from Back Alley Creations, and I've been helping him for years um, behind the scenes. You yeah. Know, coming up with great toys, great mods. That's what we did. And, you know, all of us have a love for love for pinball and literally, you know, ended up working with Chicago Gaming. And that love for pinball is what's kind of brought us up to the level we're at. We're going to continue to grow. We're going to continue to build the best products we can, continue to come up with as much innovation as we can and continue to have fun doing it. Now, no. in Chicago Gaming Company, you're not just offering pinball machines. Uh, the remakes, it's just like a small division of, of we the do, company. As we like do some whole, home arcade stuff. We right. have Arcade Legends 3. We do the Miss Pat Gallagher Anniversary Home Edition. Mm-hmm. You know, those are still available. But, you know, we do do a lot of pinball machine right now. We also, you know, we're also Churchill Cabinets. So we've been manufacturing play fields and cabinets since 1977. So I think that's a lot of people don't realize. Chicago yeah, yeah, Gaming yeah, yeah. Company yeah. is Churchill. So, right. you know, that's why we take a lot of pride in what we do, especially our play fields, especially our cabinets. Um, you know, we screen every play field to make them as beautiful as we can get them, to get those warm colors, to get everything we can with it. Now, you're one of the few manufacturers left, if not the last manufacturer, where you're still screening play fields. You're not, you have not gone to like... I think we are the last one the last, The last one there. In-house. Right. Hi, thanks for joining us on the Flippin' Out Streaming Network. You're here with Ken Beatty and Ryan White of CGC. 
I guess the uh, phones are down in Australia, huh? Yeah, I know, right? It's like, what's going on, man? Like, I, I, what's up, you maniacs? Hi, Dave. Bird. What's up, buddy? How are you? Oh, uh, what's going on? Nothing. Hey, question, because we were talking about uh, the expos and the all the other stuff. Are you guys planning on having a big presence at MGC, or where are you guys? Because I know it's, there's that weak gap, uh, and, and I, I don't know if you can disclose that or not, but where are you guys planning on having, on having more of a presence between TPF and at MGC? I, are you referring to Chicago Gaming? We want yeah. to have the we want to have the biggest presence we can at both shows. We're here to support our shows. We're okay. here to support our people. Um, so if I have to get off a plane and jump in a car and go straight to Milwaukee to 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 be there with everyone, um, we plan on doing this close to the same show we can with all the dealer support we can get um, at both shows. So I think okay. it'll be a win win. So for you're going to treat MGC. You're going to treat MGC with the same amount as TPF, though. Correct. Just like we did last year. Um, if you were okay. at both shows, you saw a huge presence from us at um, TPF. Um, Kingpin and MTZ Arcade did a great job rep- getting everything set up for us at MGC. And we came in with a huge setup there, too. Um, you know, we did brought you- we brought that big uh, monster display that we use for some of our, our large international shows, IAPAs, um, some of the big shows. We brought that up to MGC just so people could see it. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I, I, Ken, I'd like to see you guys up there at MGC just because, it, it, especially the Friday night. And yeah, I'm gonna I would like to be there. listening. Yeah, you got to go to the Friday night thing. It's a little more money, but man, you get some quality time. There's less tickets um, available. In fact, if you're planning on going, buy them now because uh, that Friday night is pretty fun. Huh? Good times. Good times. What's uh, that? Glenn yeah, 0570, it's, thanks it's for the resubscribe. I'm sorry, Whoa. Dave. Two months in a row. Thank you. But yeah, you know what? The, the thing is, it's like it's it's back to back on that TPF. And uh, oh my you gosh. know how it is, man. It's just I needed like about a week and a half or two weeks to recover from Expo. And it's it's like I know. It's like they away. should be giving out IV bags. <laughs> I know, at, right? Uh, it's at, like at MGC. I lost like six six years off my life doing Expo this year. So well, I'm hey, just I'm right. just able to write my name at this point from Expo <laughs> no. because yeah, it was. Uh, you no longer piss yourself when the microwave is chicken, on. Like, hey, there wasn't enough hey. chicken gizzards to get me through. Oh, oh so good. Oh, good times, man. Dave. I'm with the good times. Dave. Are you are you going to TPF or what? What are your plans this year? Do you know? I think I want to do TPF, but it's like that reality of MGC is just so easy because I can yeah. just drive up there. I hear you. And it's like, you know, I can I can I can go to the office, I can leave my office at like noon, head up to MGC, have a little dinner, and then cruise into that Friday night show. Usually I just go till Saturday. That's the thing. TPF is just a couple days and it's like you drop a lot of dough on that. But it's a good time in that weather charge. That's the whole thing is just getting down and being able to walk outside without like, you know, freezing. Well <laughs> I totally get it, man. I to- I totally get it. Um and for those so, people wondering where Mr. Steve Beatty went, he s- had another beer explosion. I was ready. Congratulations. <laughs> I don't know what is up with Dave. This have beer, you man. have you ever bought beer from Costco? <laughs> Just curious. I buy. You know what? They had uh, they had <sighs> hop slam. They had Ooh. like flats of hot hop slam there last year, and I had to buy him like six cases. Did they and, uh, uh, did they all explode <laughs> on you uh, when you opened them at your buddy's house? Just, check, just checking. Uh, only at my buddy's houses. Yeah, actually. Man, I'm see, about there it is. I open that's, them maybe that's so why nobody gently. invites me over anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Sitting here. Everyone, everyone come to the tomorrow bar. Good hearing from you, Dave. What did you get from Costco? What are you drinking from uh, Costco, B? Actually, what yeah. beer did you get? I have pinball life. Or, uh, pinball, pinball life. Steve's drinking pinball life. <laughs> pinball pinball pale life's ale. exploding all over the place. Pinball now. life everywhere. It's the two brothers pinball. Pale ale. Last week it was what was exploding. Uh, Elysium. I don't know. The Elysium. Uh, Do you see how I'm like grabbing it nicely? I'm, I, I actually put it on a towel this time, and it's still overflowed. So yeah. you know what? What it is? You need BD needs BD needs the towel. The uh, yeah, the uh, the BD towel. BD needs a trough, I, I, dude. I, I, I'm just gonna go. He to needs a like funnel. He I'm needs going. To, I'm going funnel. to whiskey. I know whiskey's not gonna overflow. Maybe so. just start shotgunning him. Like uh, the sheer thing style. But hey, Dave, thanks for calling in, buddy. It's good hearing from you. Be good. All right. We'll yeah, check in hey with guys, you later in the keep week. Keep it up. Thanks a lot. And uh, thanks uh, thanks for everything everybody's doing. Thanks, man. You too, buddy. Appreciate it. Good, later, Dave. Good night. All right. It's funny. He's like, are the phones broken in Australia? Because normally we would have heard by uh, would have heard from Dr. Dr. John, John yeah. by now. So it is what you it is. You know what? I just realized MGC the week after TPF. Yeah, that's I'm what we're talking miss, about. I'm going to miss both those. Uh, you're in Alaska or Iceland. I'm somewhere. 
You're you're Somewhere. out out of town Somewhere on vacation. Somewhere out of town. Unbelievable. No. Oh. Damn. Thanks for calling the Flipping Out Streaming Network with Ken, Steve, and Ryan White from CGC. What's up, guys? What's going on? Who's this? Mr. Franchi. Hey, what's hey, up, Chris? Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. What's up, buddy? Hey. Hey, a couple quick things while I got you on the line, buddy. Uh, number one, thanks for the generous contribution to the stream tonight. Really, really, yeah, really appreciate yeah. that. And uh, uh, con- congratulations on the official uh, release or announcement of uh, your new pinball podcast. Yes. And thirdly, congratulations yeah. on taking part in one of the coolest looking toppers that I've seen come through pinball in a long time. So you got the trifecta, you, buddy. Nicely done. Yeah, I pimped, I pimped out the show so that nobody would leave your stream to go find out what it was on my my Facebook page. So well, yeah, we were we were going to rebroadcast it. We were worried about that. Right. <laughs> yeah. right. We didn't know. Anyway, what was I wanted happen. to tell I want to tell Ryan that uh, um, I'm going to be at uh, Free Play Florida as well, and I hear lunch is on you. I don't know if I'm going to hit Free Play. They did it the they did it the weekend after IAPA. So Ooh. I have to get down to IAPA Saturday to do set up Sunday, Monday for a Tuesday through Friday show. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit free play this year. Last year I was able to hit free play because it was the weekend before. So I flew in Saturday, checked out free play for the day, went back in Sunday, went straight to IAPA set up and then was there Monday through Friday. So I'm going to try. Let's see what we can pull off. Hopefully, if it is, then def- lunch is definitely on me if I see you down there. Wait, Chris, wait, what's your show schedule look like over the next uh, My several show months? show schedule? Um, well, there's uh, Free Play Florida. And that's in like three weeks. Um, then I will be at uh, TPF again next year. And I think, but I'm not 100% sure, um, the uh, – uh, what's it called now? Um the north northwest is that the one in Seattle? Northwest yeah, Seattle. Seattle. Oh, northwest, northwest show. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. not Jerry now. That's I just me. gonna say I would love to go party with Jerry and his wife out there. Exactly. And that's the show that I would love to go to yep. if I could Same. if I could pick one. Uh, yeah, Jerry reached out to me. And Jerry and Jen, the poster, they're fun. They're but awesome. Talk to him. So I don't know. Have you hung out with Jen, Jennifer, his wife? Uh, I mean, I, I mean, have not, but I, I heard she's a laugh right. Oh my <laughs> gosh, she was like, she was the surprise of Pinball Expo for me. She was so fun, <laughs> I agree and with she that. was like very. Uh, she wasn't shy to talk about anything, and, no, I, and I thought going. it was so awesome. Yeah. And, and at one point, even Jerry Thompson was like, "I don't normally blush, but I'm yeah, turning like, red right I'm now." Blushing, <laughs> it's, it's so awesome. Let's do this. Maybe I'll snipe her and get her on the podcast. Yeah, you should get hey, her on the podcast. She'd be good actually, times. Actually, yeah, that would be good times. <laughs> well, she can tell stories about Jerry behind his back. <laughs> When's the first episode of the podcast uh, looking like it's going to come out? <laughs> uh, wait, uh, was that a question? I didn't hear. Oh, that. no, yeah. I was just wondering, like, when do you see episode one making its debut? Are you recording now? Do you got some stuff oh, in the can? Episode one? Uh, we're shooting for Black Friday. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, that's good. It's a good one. Everyone's yeah, very good. I thought that, that was pretty appropriate. Yeah, so we're, we're shooting for that, but we got a lot of stuff to get together. It might be the first episode might be uh, more introductory, um, just because you know we're we're trying to get it going, but we've got you know it, it's a very interactive thing. We're going to have you know pinball celebrities, whether it's people who make pinball or people who are pinball players, you know, big pinball players. Um, we actually have lined up Steve Bowden versus Pinside PD in a trivia contest. So all of this stuff has to be organized and pre-recorded and edited and put together. So the, the first episode might be um, a little light on content and more of an introductory sort of a thing. But, uh, yeah, we plan on going out about uh, every every two weeks. And uh, Wow, that's a, that's a lot of effort for yeah. two two weeks. Or every two weeks, that's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, but we, you know, we want to do something different. We, you know, we've got a lot of interesting plans with bringing people in to do special segments and fun stuff, and cool. you know, we kind of want to try and be the Saturday Night Live of a pinball podcast. So it should be interesting. It should be entertaining. It's, it's, you know, we don't, we don't need another, uh, you know, three headed monster talking about pinball news. So hey, hey, uh, hey, whoa, 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 whoa! I don't know where that was going. Hey, Chris, hey, thanks for joining nah. us. We'll talk oh. to you later. There. No, no, no. I didn't say there's anything wrong with the ones that are out there. Oh, okay, okay. Don't okay. eat another one. Don't eat another one. Yeah. Like no, I got you. Don't, don't be do going for that twippy well. until 2020 there, buddy. You can't just jump into November and steal it from us. Come on. 
<laughs> no, I love you guys. You know, I listen to you. No, guys I, know, I know. I know. Um, and, and that's why, you know, I don't want to, uh, it's not like we don't want to step on anybody's heels. It's just that, you know, I respect what, what people do, uh, you know, what you guys do and, and uh, you know, uh, slap save. And, and of course, Zach, you know, working his butt off and head to head and all those guys. Uh, special um, when lit pinball you know, so podcast we just is don't pretty wanna, good. We don't, we don't see the need to, to do the same thing, you know. Yeah, so. no, I get it, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. you know what? I think pinball podcasting is due for a little bit of a shakeup. It's been it's been too comfortable lately. So, well, guys, uh, yeah. between the BD's Chicken Pinball Podcast <laughs> and the Super Duper Awesome Pinball Podcast, well, well we wish you, we wish well. wish you luck, man. I'm uh, yeah, seriously, Chris. It, I'll be adding it to my sub list. Shit up, it'll be me. All right, that is true. <laughs> that is true. So, uh, nothing wrong there. Be, be careful there, Ryan. <laughs> All, All right, right, guys, man. I'm going to hang up and listen. So. Hey, thanks, Chris. Easy, yeah, thanks, Chris. For the entertainment. Be good, buddy. I appreciate Bye. everything, man. Later. All right, man. See you guys. See ya. Bye. Yeah. So you'll have... Uh, Franchi? Franchi throwing his hat in the ring. Franchi's pinball his hat in the ring. Yeah. A couple yeah, hats. Him and Ed Vanderveen. Now, you just bought a pinball machine from Ed Vanderveen. I did. And it was the Bonsai Run. That was one of the best experiences I've had, buying a pinball machine. Uh, and and that was out of state. I yeah. mean, you know, Ed lives in Texas. You know Ed? Yeah, I know. Okay. Ed. Okay. Let's say wait. That's until you so. buy your until you buy your Royal Edition, right? Well, yeah, but that's <laughs> yeah, well, but that's well, a new box. Yeah, I'm you saying know. this is a used, shipped through, uh, you know, STI. Ed's a good dude. He. Uh, oh, Ed's a great dude. He really took care of of uh, shipping, and that's cool. I've heard know, great things it was, about it. I don't it know that I've officially met Ed. We've exchanged messages on Facebook. Um. But I've I've not had a chance to shake the guy's hand, so I'm looking forward to doing that at some point. Yeah, he's a good dude. We'll even throw in a great topper crate for you. Topper the, the, crate. The, the, the topper crate. The actually. topper crate can. It's out. It's out. It's out in the car already. Oh, did you, did you put it? Oh, in the car? yeah, I put it out oh, there. I, I was, Damn it! I was going to take the crate. I think the, I cr- know. the crate's nice, three quarter inch ply <laughs> in a nice box. It's I like know, it's that pretty was nice. Good. It's like the, it looks like it's like an eighty dollar topper carrier. It probably is. It, yeah. it's, it's, it's pretty nice. heavy. It's, it's nice. heavy duty. It was works. that Baltic birch? What what was that? Probably. <laughs> it was like seven <laughs> layers. Of it was pretty nice. <laughs> All right, guys. It utilizes a toolbox when you need to ship. Yes, it does. Um, I guess we could fire this this bad boy down. It's nine oh eight. Do you have anything fire else you wanted to? Uh, I'd say wow. Oh, you yeah. want to stick around? Hey, I figured I figured we get a couple more calls, but oh, I, I I'm happy to take more right. calls. I you know I, I just, figure we might get something. Ryan shooting for calls. Come on, y'all. You know, I mean, I haven't. We uh, usually last time we got some calls. This time it's been a little. Oh, little I quiet I just know that we list. well, I just know that we still have to break this down, and we you know have what? to get I'm you fine. in the car. We got to get you to Uh-oh, Indiana. See, look at this. We got to so, go. It's probably my wife telling me to <laughs> end the stream. No, I'm kidding. Thanks for calling the Flipping on Streaming Network with Ken, Steve. And Ryan White from CGC. What's up, fellas? It's PinQuest Neil. Hey, hey Neil. Neil! Hey, the man of the hour. Hey, hey, hey. We got you, buddy. To, we got hey, you. I just wanted to call on and congratulate you guys. I was absolutely for sure one of you would shit the bed, but it didn't happen. <laughs> oh, I God. was too, man. I was, I was sweating, too. Sweating Thanks bullets for having me. <laughs> so, so for those of you that don't know, Neil runs PinQuest, PinQuest.com. So uh, just about every single week, Neil sponsors a stream by giving us some some pin quest challenges usually it's five challenges and for every tier that we're able to accomplish he uh he rewards us with 500 bits on top of his 2500 uh, bit donation that he starts the stream with now i think only one time we've completed all five and yeah. and this week the the, the pin quest challenge was essentially it's an all or nothing each of us must score 21 million points at some point or the other during the night and then we would receive those other uh 2500 bits and and to all of our amazement uh he who, who <laughs> yeah. was thought was supposed to be the crutch actually blew it up with 48 million points <laughs> i i came in second and uh hit it and then steve after two more games you hit it so we all hit the 21 yeah. million point challenge ryan tonight. lit the fire it was fun neil i i appreciate it, it, it was it was good it was fair and it was it was a good time Good guys, I'm glad you guys had fun. That being said, I'll hang up and let you go. No, yeah, oh, a, come on, Neil. Oh, oh, so oh, short. You know, that I was mean, I was sh- supposed to be the crutch here, Neil. <laughs> Neil, what else is that? I would fail. What's, what's new in, in PinQuest? What's going on with PinQuest? Because you just recently added official app support for Android and Apple for PinQuest, correct? Yeah, that's right. We kind of just did our, our relaunch out of Expo. We gave away a, a bunch of uh, Franchi coasters that he so generously gave us his art. So oh, that's that was right. super cool. 
we've actually got, I think I have like 10 of those left. So keep an eye out. I'm going to do some sort of national contest here in the next couple of weeks, giving the, the rest of those away. So nice. that's really what we got going on. So people can jump on the pinquest.com or they can search pinquest um, in their app search yeah. bar, download, download the, the app. app. Download the app. And then what this allows you to do is it allows you to search for locations in your area which support pinquest and those operators that are running those pinball machines allow you to try to achieve challenges that will you can then kind of snap a picture, upload your scores and then you can win prizes from those those locations. Instead yep. of walking up to a pinball machine and trying to hit a grand champ score, you've got other challenges that that you can kind of hit and you can be rewarded for your efforts. Yep. Yep. Right? Yeah, man. I should hire you as my marketing guy. <laughs> hey, I'm available. <laughs> Let me take this flipping out shirt off. No, I won't. Just flip it around. <laughs> it's like, whoa, guys, I, don't leave. <laughs> I'm not going to really do that. But, but yeah, uh, the, the, yeah, the cool thing, I guess, I, I don't want to get into a huge deal on, uh, on Zach's channel, but yeah, if we're going down that road, uh, keep an eye out. There's a national contest button that does appear every now and then. That's when I'm holding some sort of national contest. So keep an eye out for that button Sweet. and try and win a prize. That's that's pretty awesome. Very man. cool, man. I really really appreciate it. Keep it up. Anything that anybody's doing to kind of help get excitement with pinball, I think is really fun. And listen, I've said this a million times, even off the stream. When we have pin quest challenges, when we're playing on the stream, it makes it so much more fun for us from a playing perspective it because it gives us like these little challenges that we can achieve. Because you know we're not gonna get super far deep into these games most of the time. So we appreciate it, man. It, it's really helped us out as far as just having fun from pinball playing uh, standpoint. Sure. So thanks, Neil. Well, absolutely, guys. I'm glad you enjoy it and uh, keep up the good work. Awesome, man. You too, man. Thanks. Be good. We'll talk to you soon. We'll see you next week. <laughs> All right, Neil. Thanks, Take Neil. Oh, well, good times. Good hearing from Neil. Yeah, man. Let's jump back. Uh, jump back into chat. Drain it or save it. Franchi podcast has ten episodes. Cause is like cause is a little rabble rouser too. He's, I'm, I'm he's watching. I'm just watching him tonight. Uh, <laughs> Ken said, "Nice box." Yes, I did. Hypercoast 200. <laughs> Still have my Attack from Mars uh, remake topper crate. Yeah, the crate is nice. At least. Was that a prototype crate? Or no, was that that's a, yeah, it's a, it's a the, proto, the prototype know. of the prototype. It was, it was pretty awesome. No, that's, that's a, what we ship our toppers oh, in. Oh, right. Uh, real Ryan question, Ryan. Can we get those topper kits shipped in a regular box instead of like the uh, the little topper the coffin? <laughs> Thanks for joining us on the Flippin' on Streaming Network with Ken Beatty and Ryan White from CGC. Hello, this is uh, Jobber. Hey, what's up, Christopher? How are you, buddy? Oh, well, breaking the stuff, but, you know, I'm doing okay, you know, beyond that. Good, good. Good to hear from you. What, what's what's the good word these days? What's happening? Uh, not a whole heck of a lot. I, I agree with you guys. It took me a good solid uh, week to recover from the, the madness that was Expo, and I wasn't even drinking with you guys. Yeah, well, so, I wasn't even drinking. I was just staying up late and drinking, I guess. Well, yeah, no, that was, that was for sure. I, there was one time, uh, I'd like to say Saturday night, I was over by the... Uh, the Penn Stadium thing, trying out one of the games and seeing what the Penn Stadiums look like. And I put a bottle down and I went to go and grab it after I was done playing the game. And I felt every year, every uh, minute of my uh, almost 42 years ah. on this planet. So needless to say, it was exhausting, but it was a blast nonetheless. And it was uh. really great to, great to meet all of you. I even got a chance to talk to Ryan for a little while. Yeah. No. Yeah, nice. I was there. Lasting impression, I, I assume, from a jobber, from a Christopher. Hey. So now, absolutely. now he had brought like the fully re- like a, a virtual pinball machine that was assembled by fully re- all recycled parts. I remember yeah. talking okay. to him. Yeah, so, right. Jobber. What so half- yeah, the, what it looks like that LCD is going to be recycled. Jobber. What? Yeah. What happened to your LCD? That, that went today? down. Well, what happened to it today is I had been trying to fix a few nagging issues that came up during Expo, and uh, I was taking up the play field monitor and I was fixing something and I decided I was going to do it later. And I put the uh, play field on top of the cabinet and got a phone call. And oh. as I went to go and pick up the phone call, I heard a crash Smash. and the play field monitor is now no more. <laughs> so uh, needless to say, luckily I have a backup, so I will be, uh, and it is a backup that is a recycled backup. Nice. But uh yeah, it was not exactly. If you would have talked to me about eight hours ago, I wouldn't have been a very happy. What, yeah. what, what do you have in there? Like a thirty-nine or a forty-three inch 
monitor? What are you using? Uh, they got a 42 inch, and the replacement is, I think, a 48 inch, but I okay. haven't measured it yet. So I'm going to go bigger just because the cabinet's built. I don't mind the 26 inch wide body um, and all that kind of stuff. And the whole thing is, too, is finding. The monitors are not that difficult, and I watch Craigslist like a hawk. Right, right, um, right. I've, I've, got, I've got one of those Craigslist uh, notification things that come up and tell me whenever things are up. Like, for example, in my local arcade market, um, I always get an ad for something called Elvis Cards of His Life uh, <laughs> because, for whatever reason, whoever's selling that thinks that uh, Very, uh, uh, Elvis Trading Cards is a, uh, a arcade game. So, Outstanding. But, uh, oh, right, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, but anyways, you know, things are going good beyond that. Uh, now, now locally, you know, I always have a search in my Craigslist, and it's it says pinball minus Naperville. <laughs> For yeah, those yeah, of you yeah, right. that might know what that means, like I can filter out uh, ads from a certain area. But uh, yeah, good times, man. It's it again. It, it yeah. was fun meeting you at at Expo, and uh, sure, it was yeah. cool that you brought your pin. Uh, Zach is suggesting maybe getting into a real pinball machine because they're a little more reliable than the virtual builds. So. Something, something to sleep on. Yeah, well, they, you know, they're very, they're, I, I agree with that, and uh, I don't think they shatter when you drop them on the ground. Uh, so that, no, I think they do. <laughs> that play field glass yeah, is a little more uh, susceptible uh, to just breaking. glass on virtual. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, it wouldn't be a dumpster fire if you didn't break a few things while you're making it. So, anyways, gentlemen, it was good chatting with you, good meeting you at Expo, good uh, everything in between, and uh, we'll talk later. Thanks, Jobber. Be good, buddy. Thanks, good Christopher. Chris. Thanks. Talk see you, see you, man. Good times. Uh, Zonder's here. Dennis Kriesel from Eclectic Gamers Podcast. I'd like to take a moment here to congratulate both Dennis and Tony for their 100th episode on Eclectic Gamers nice, Podcast. Dude. So, I mean, that's that's nice, a huge guys. achievement. That is a lot. For those of you that that may not be aware, Dennis is not only the the every other week co-host of This Week in Pinball, but he also hosts Eclectic Gamers Podcast with uh, his co-host Tony. And uh, it's nice because it's got a big pinball segment, which interests all of us here. Yep. But but then it no also doubt. covers some of the arcade and gaming, so, or yeah. more so like the gaming side of things, yeah. and, and even you know board games, uh, sure. sort of thing. But hundred episodes, a hundred episodes, man, that's a lot. Hundred episodes, that's a lot. So good times, good times. EGP love in chat. So if you've not subscribed, check out Eclectic Gamers Podcast on your favorite podcast app. Hey, we're, trending we're just up. Trending up. Hey, Eclectic Gamers Podcast. What else do we have going on here, gentlemen? Ryan, what else you got, buddy? Oh, that's about it, man. We're just getting ready to get this thing rolling. Ryan's like, I got the calls. <laughs> yeah, Ryan's it's like, I got break super calls. Break Let's down break this break in Medieval Madness <laughs> right? so I can play it in my house before I got to take it. Hey, no, 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 no. Ryan's waiting wait for more calls, <laughs> it man. Right? We're ready to go. It's yeah, it's but I'm good. here to answer any more questions we got while we got a little bit of time left. Yeah, how about how about we, right. we got 11 more minutes. We'll shut this down at 930. I'd say if not, you know what? We can just play pinball. We could play one more game of pinball. You know, we did we did cut the with the, the topper playing, cam playing it short because Ryan's the, ready to just party he knocked it. he knocked off the home run there. Woo! <laughs> That's good time. Base is loaded. Uh, yeah. You want you want to play one more? Want to close out the stream with a game of uh, medieval madness? We can do it whatever way you'd like. I don't mind. We can sit here, take calls, answer the people who are left in chat. You know, let's leave it up to everyone chat. here. How about this? We we got eleven more minutes. Do you want to keep the phone lines open and do after hours? Or do you want to go into uh, one, one more, more game, game of pinball? 21 mil a piece. Right now it's tied at nothing to nothing. So that's pretty awesome. Do, 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 do. You don't have the Jeopardy theme on. Uh, no, I just have the Unsolved Mysteries. Uh, turn and the reason anyway. I have the that's Unsolved great. Mysteries theme is because great. that night that Steve Ritchie was supposed to come out, and he just never made it. So and I thought something happened to him. I, and it did end up happening to him. All right, we got to talk, talk by while playing. Do both. Play. No, we, we, we always both, talk while we're both. playing. All right, I'm going to go run to the washroom, and then I'm going to start up a three-player, and oh. we'll talk while play, Bam. and maybe take calls. Sounds like we need to pause for station identification on the Flipping Out Streaming Network. And we're back here on the Flippin' Up Streaming Network. Steve was able to get out of there. Uh, let's let's do reverse order. We'll do a three-player game in reverse order. Well, we can at least wait for him to come back tell him he's player three. Well, part nah. of the reverse order was letting him know that he didn't have to. Yeah. Hey, let's play backwards. Go ahead. Lead us out. All right. We're going to do it. Uh, you run this puppy. All right. All right. So all right, it's all you. Plate. See how it feels as we shut that down. Topper cam. We have topper cam here. Woo! All right. Coming up, we have Ken Cromwell. 
leading us out. He opens up and hits Merlin. Starts trolls. Yes, here we go. We are off. Medieval Madness Royal Edition. Complete with topper cam and super ball drain feature, evidently. Did you find the super ball drain feature? Yeah, I sure did, Ryan. All right, good. We've but if you remember my last game, going into ball three, I had 450,000 points. We, we all kind of had ball three going good. We're doing reverse order. Reverse order. Yes, 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 you are. <laughs> my voice has been off lately. We suspect black lung. <laughs> Says Dennis. I hope you don't have black lung, buddy. Uh, oh. Francis said, hey, Creasel, we have to talk. Podcast is on. We got to do one night in Bangkok. <laughs> he needs a new towel. Oh, no, man. I'm good, man. I'm good. Maybe enter my one of my ass. <laughs> Beatty needs a new towel. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Washroom. Hypercoaster 200 says, you always have something uh, funny to say. Not sure who the comedian is in here, but don't be taken away from my thunder. Hey, yeah. All funny jokes go through me. EGP uh, did conduct a poll and 100% support for uh, charging. Are you flipping out to uh, something less? Or changing, changing, changing. What? You know what I need? I need, some, I need some glasses, man. It's that light. It's that light, dude. It's weird because I've got, so I got the monitor here in front of me, and I've got the computer here, and I can read the monitor better than the computer. But when I go to the eye doctor, I, like I've, my vision's fine. I don't know. I don't you know what it is, Ken? It's that light. It is the light. It's the light, I'm telling you. Just kill the light, see how it looks on stream. I like the studio. It looks very sophisticated. Could probably back. host the uh, coin takers. <laughs> Thanks, Dennis. Appreciate it, man. Hey, did you see how that worked? Oh, my just turn. open it up and uh, no, it's it's your turn. Ooh, Nothing exploded. Congratulations. Thank you on your nice smooth battle. Over. I do appreciate that. All right, and Steve steps up to the plate now. I'm going to miss Medieval Madness leaving tonight, this Royal Edition. So I think as it's... Well, remember, Ken, you can, you too can own one. I cannot own one. You too can own one. I, you know what? It violates my, uh, my non-purchasing uh, agreement contract as a uh, freelancing streamer. Oh, okay. I cannot own any of these games. I can only take them in on loan and then uh, enjoy them. 43,500? What happened? I didn't even know that you could get that score. I didn't know that either. <laughs> wow. I, I walked it, away. I was actually very I impressed about it. that. I love I'm, it. I'm, wow. That, the low score of the night goes pretty. to Steve. I mean, kind of. Bye, Kaz, if you're happy about that. Kaz, you out? Hey. Steve should be opening his beers in a box from here on out. Sure as shit, Frangie. Damn. I don't know what's up with so the beer. Instead of box mind. wine, you could have box beer. I mean, hmm, yeah. box wine. Anything without uh, carbonation might be the way for me to go. I don't know what it is. So where can you order an MMR Royal? Just, Look yes. through the dealer network, guys. The there dealer are network. a few left. I believe earlier oh, Welcome back, Ken. It looks like Ryan's getting the hell out of here out pretty, was, pretty easy. Flipping out was quick. saying that MTZ had some people left. Had a couple left, but check through the dealer network, guys. We do have some left. Oh, try a juice box. Ooh, I'll juice box some beer. Or eh, they get juice box wines too nowadays. <laughs> I think Ryan wanted us to play a game, knowing that he'd get out of here sooner than, than if he had to wait than, for two calls. Than waiting for two calls. <laughs> it's, it's oh, awesome. let's just play a game. Uh, nah, it's good times. Hey, whatever it takes. <laughs> it's just fun, man. It's it's all it's all good. Of course, it's all good. It's good times. So the Royal Editions are sold out of flipping out pinballs. So if you're looking for a Royal Edition, oh, you got to go elsewhere. Uh, but you can still get in on the other tiers of Medieval Madness of flipping out pinball. Air code 847-778-4876. If you're not the type of person that likes to call or text, go ahead and hit him up on the email line. Zach, Z-A-C-H at flip the letter N out pinball.com. Zach at flipping out pinball.com. Uh, the proud owners of, of that company, Zach and Nicole Many. Good people. Very good people. I would I would put my uh, I would put any credibility that I may have in pinball on uh, a positive experience with Same Zach here. and Nicole many at flipping Same out. Same here. 
That being said, if you have a distributor that's done you well, if it's not broke, don't fix it. That's just kind of what I've always said. Um, that's how it goes. All right, let's see if he can double 43,000. <laughs> That's like missed the skill oh, shot and everything. Like, <laughs> it's like it's like somehow it jumped out of the shooter lane into the drain without it hitting the... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, well, the bonus. <laughs> Where did... <laughs> Did you double it? I can't I even. I don't even. Like, yeah, I gotta watch this. I back barely, <laughs> barely even doubled it. Dude, I can't even. Doubled that's it. Awesome. I can't literally. He literally doubled oh, it. Oh my gosh. All right. All right. That's classic, man. We're glad to, we don't have so, those. Somebody, no, somebody, somebody clip those two shots. <laughs> oh, man. Pin. All right. <laughs> Pin quest challenge. Get under right. 100. We're under 100 grand with three balls. My average of <laughs> my average of eight mil has gone way down. Oh, that's she, awesome. Holy yeah. here, can we do under three balls and under 100,000? Maybe, maybe. Oh, holy Steve. Uh, I might just go for the oh, regular skill no, shot. We can't revoke shot. it. We already got it, okay? I might just go for the regular skill for the 50. I don't know. So, sorry, Chris. Can't revoke the pin quest prize. No, dude. I I, I legit earned that pin quest. Yeah, you got you, it. And I got, got it. it. Ken Ken got ball. it. Yeah. And then and you then got I, it a couple games guys, later. I was, yeah. I and now our, a game first game, game, yeah. our first game out, you can't break 100,000 in two balls. <laughs> <laughs> 200,000 just to basically save a ball. <laughs> you know, I mean, come on. That's pretty bad. It's he hits 20, 20, 22 million and then comes back with <laughs> less than 100,000. I don't even know, man. Man. That was pretty bad. You know what? Yeah, Pinball is yeah. a one ball game for me, usually. Oh. It's a one ball Might game. Might not be this game. Might not be okay, next well, game. We but can I'm going to have one ball. I'm going to have one good ball eventually. <laughs> All right. Oh, we got a new we got a new reward for you. <laughs> what Chris I, th is, I think Chris is sponsoring it. Oh shit quest trophy. <laughs> Chris, you might need to start that man. <laughs> oh yes. Uh, Alright. I thought I had a chance. Man, I love just watching these animations too. It it is amazing. The animations. Like, I, I kind of, I'm sorry, Chad, I lose track. I'm, I'm observing. The animations. Really How to play pinball. <laughs> you, too, can play pinball. Learn <laughs> with Steve Betty. <laughs> <laughs> Instruction video tonight oh, at right. one. What do we got? 500K, 100K. Beep, 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 beep. Chicken slam. Yes, yeah, Betty's a, claiming to be the Lance Armstrong of pinball. So, <laughs> drunk testing after this game. <laughs> Return of the bed eye. Okay. Hey, way yes. to go on that four, four comma six. <laughs> four comma six. Good times. Oh, see, I'm missing that Re ball. Say, revoke the pin quest prize. Franchi says, uh, Dave Fogren, thanks for the bit, buddy. So it's always good seeing you pop up in chat, and thanks for the call in tonight, Franchi. Okay. Yeah. We'll give you a shit quest trophy, nicely done. Pinball obsessed. Steve takes the topper on like lowest that score tonight. That's my. That's my. That favorite. is pretty nice. Skip Natty would like to see some of Franchi's photorealistic artwork for a Laverne and Shirley pin. Now that would be something to unveil in uh, out of Milwaukee in an MGC. Uh, only if he can draw Lenny and Squiggy too. Absolutely. And well, naturally, Skip Natty says. Fogren, uh, Beatty's claiming to be the Lance Armstrong of pinball. All right, we're up. Let's see if he can double his score yet again. Ouch. Well, he hit a catapult. That's worth 50000 Oh, so he already ruined his uh, three balls under three 100. Three ball grand. under 100. He just right. lost it. Right. Donahue. I forgot about Donahue. Sounds perfectly useful trivia to me. That's a Jeopardy winner, says Skip Nan. So explain to me what happens when you leave here tonight. 
we packed this medieval madness back into the uh, Ryan White mobile. You, you, you're you're going to go home. You're going to bring it back to CGC tomorrow. Goes to CGC. It gets on right, right. Ryan. So are you are you playing pinball every single day at CGC, or is it just on occasion you, you I get don't, some games? I in? barely get to play. Barely pinball. get to play pinball. Yeah, figures. Spend most of the time answering emails, answering phone calls. Yeah. Uh, are you running the social media Facebook page or somebody uh, else do that? Or it's kind of not? a combination. Okay. No one. It's really Team been so busy for media marketing. Yeah. Okay. Basically, the best way to contact in is contact through the website. Yeah. Um, email in that way. You know, or contact me direct or go to I was going to say, how, now, how can people contact you directly uh, if if they have questions for you or do you prefer not to have direct questions? You can contact through. me directly. Uh, best way is Ryan White, all one word, at Chicago Gaming.com. Ryan best way White. To get in touch with me. At Chicago Gaming.com. Right. Best way to get in touch with me. I take the time to answer all emails. Sometimes it takes a little bit, kind of what we're getting through right now. But a lot of questions on MMR especially the Royal Editions, and, you know, we figured we'd bring it out here, showcase it. Yeah, I, I can't tell you how much man. I appreciate that you let, let us everyone, see it tonight. Let so. everyone see it tonight, and for yeah. those people who missed it tonight, be able to catch up with it on, you know, on demand here. You've always been yep. uh, very nice and generous with your time and with uh, letting us stream your games, man. So hey man, it's always yeah, a pleasure right. to yeah, come it's out always to you guys. You know, you definitely have to make kind of a, uh-oh. Did yeah, right. He's, the, did you I open went, that white claw yet? No, I went. Uh, let, let me get you a blow up and play them pool first. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on. Anybody want to see if if a white claw explodes? We have white we claw. have oh. we have an issue with my so cooler. This is, then. Right, well, this is the last thing. Everything you've opened tonight's exploded and last Let's week. See, dun dun dun. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he opened Good one job. and it didn't explode. I guess if if it, because it's a trendy drink, it doesn't cheers. explode. But uh, yeah, cheers. Uh, a couple quick thank yous. Thank you so much. Our, our sponsors, first and foremost, uh, Scott of Penn Stadium and PinStadium.com. Thanks for yeah. illuminating this game with the Penn Stadium Extreme Kit, the, yep, yep, yep. the serious streaming kit for the serious streamer. Uh, thank you so much. And then Neil at PinQuest and PinQuest.com. Thanks so much for the uh, donation of the bits yeah. and thanks for, for setting the PinQuest challenges tonight and for calling in. Yeah, it's buddy. always good. Uh, Scott, thanks for the gift subs tonight. That was really, really fun. Uh, I want to thank Ryan again for your time, and I want to thank Chicago Gaming Company for uh, being so... Uh, fun and nice to work with, actually. Yeah. It's, a, it's it's always a pleasure doing any we, of this stuff. We with like you guys. to have a little fun with you guys. Yeah, no, same here, same here. It's very much appreciated. I want to thank anybody that stopped in the chat tonight. That uh, whether you had bits or subs or you just came in and, and and were in on the conversation, that's great. If you just kind of lurked in the background, that's fine too. Thanks for coming in on the uh, flipping out streaming family. It's always fun having you guys in. And then uh, lastly, I wanted to thank Zach and, uh, Zach and Nicole Many for uh, not only allowing us to kind of stream and host. Uh, on this channel, but for doing what you guys do as pinball distributors and for furthering uh, pinball and its efforts, f f just kind of allowing a platform for these games to uh, be exposed. Yeah, and it's always it's always fun times. We're not worthy. <laughs> yeah. We're it's not it's not always worthy. a good time. <laughs> it's always a good time. Um, yeah, we are wearing the same shirt. These are our flipping out uh, streaming network uniforms. It's like I feel like I'm wearing like a Superman right. shirt underneath. Here. If we're out of uniform, we get fine. Super bits. Zach, super so flipping out. Do that. Um, but I, I think, you know, Bill Webb couldn't be here tonight. Sorry that he couldn't be. Um, I'm the fill in for Bill, Bill Webb. Be back. Bill will be back shortly. It was great. Ryan filling in for Bill Webb. Love having uh, you, Ryan. For Steve Beatty and Ryan White, I'm, I'm Ken Cromwell. I'm going to answer one question Go for it, that please. I see right here. Absolutely. I want to say thank Do you to Chris up. for all the excellent work you did yes. helping us get the topper um, since he is here. Oh, someone please, asked yeah. how Someone asked how tall the topper is. Topper is going to be right around eight inches, same height as... Um, as our attack from Mars and Mars Eight inches. Toppers. And you that, that looks like 14 inches to me. It well, actually. that's your perspective. Have another cocktail. It'll get smaller. <laughs> trust me. Well, there's a reason. Never mind. <laughs> so anyhow. Yeah. Just wanted to answer that out real quick. All these kits are going to be available mid -jan start shipping, hopefully mid mid January. Absolutely. Right you know, um, you know, special thanks to to all the guys who been part of our team to help get things moving forward, especially you guys. You know, we thank oh, we yeah, thank man. the opportunity for having us out tonight. To showcase this yeah, game. Buddy. So this way, the people who couldn't make Chicago Pinball Expo have the opportunity to see what everybody's talking about with what we did next. There's a lot of great pinball streamers and a lot of great pinball streams. I, we're, we're fortunate enough to be very local to a lot of the uh, manufacturers. So it's local. Yeah. I mean, pretty pretty close. Uh, okay. In I'm in state. Cicero and I live in Indiana. Let's think about it. You're anything but close. But we like anyway. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Well, thanks for trucking your ass out here and <laughs> making the long out. Sorry about that. 
Uh, Ryan's trying to keep this going too. Next time, <laughs> next time <laughs> you get to one more you shut it down in like thirty minutes. Next time you get to stream from Cicero. <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> okay, I will stream from Cicero uh, at one point. Uh, oh, you know what? There's something I want to talk to you after this. We got, we, I got a little something uh, on the side going on. I'm so in we'll trouble. No, no, you're not in trouble. But uh, again, thanks for everybody for streaming or for, thanks for, for coming, coming out tonight, guys. Thanks for having us. Yeah, and absolutely. Yeah, guys. Good morning, good afternoon, again, good evening. Right. We'll be back again soon. Good morning, good evening, and good night. Don't forget to take some time out of your day and play some pinball. So long, everybody.